Nope. No audio. Can't hear you at all. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, they're working on it. Wait. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey how you doing? There we go. Sick. Now, now we got to wait for Theta to... Uh... No, you're alive. Cool. We're all here. Oh, well, put... Okay, come. Okay. I'm, no, I'm well, just... We're in the I'm... wrong... Are we I'm in, in the right places now. Oh damn it! Yeah, that's right. Discord's done a weird thing where everyone's <laughs> yeah. changed positions for some reason. Uh, it's okay. Everyone thinks I'm you anyway. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. stay here. Mustache and, guy with no mustache. And today I will be playing the part of lessons learned. <laughs> oh no! I see Pando as the GM actually. <laughs> ah, Dang it! It's my world now. Pando, so, what are we doing today? Um. Well, we're going to be walking into a dungeon, and then you're going to walk out of the dungeon at some point. Wow. Crazy. Well, some of us might. I'm amazed. Your creativity, yeah. it's boundless. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not not everyone might walk out of the dungeon. Who knows? Anything could happen. One of you might walk further into the dungeon. It, it's, it's like the Thunderdome. Yeah. It's unpredictable. <laughs> oh, dear. You're okay. Ah, oh, you're Dexterity's twenty. Okay. Um, no more class seventeen with studded leather, correct? Uh, Belloc. Um, whatever you're reading. Um, let's see, cancel you because I was going to give you a uh, Elven chain, a Drow chain, it's but fine. that actually, but that fine. actually, it, it takes it takes your armor class down, so. Yeah, all I really need is the. I should have actually two hand crossbows and stud of leather, and just give me infinite ammo, and I'll be fine. You do have a lot of hand crossbows here. I don't oh, know where those really came cool. from. I only ever dragged one, and then you can see I have a blank with a three minus one. I don't even remember what that was from, and then f no. uh, four more just appeared for some reason. That's a lot of crossbows. Well, no, they're not even crossbows. They're just macros for crossbows. Don't know where they came yeah. from. It doesn't matter. They're just the macros for them. Mm, yeah, yeah. Let's, I mean, that's all my character has anyway, is the hand crossbows. You don't have any swords? Don't need them. You sure? Yeah. Okay. He's never going in the front line. Uh, well, I mean, I got crossbow expert and shot shooter, so that handles just about everything. Ah. Uh, yep. And, uh, it does look like we are in the right, in the right positions place. now. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are live. Hi, everybody. Welcome back again to the, our Sunday game at Greyhawk into the World Coast. In this case, under the mountain. Inside yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the boat of the, uh, fire giants as they're crawling up the mountain and trying to get through the mountain to the final destination. Um, so let's begin uh, with our uh, players. Uh, Robert, will you introduce your, yourself and your character? Yes, I'm playing. Well, I'm playing a uh, Lael, the uh, the monk, who is out of his element, but is looking to uh, slaughter his way through as needed to defend uh, his friends and defeat these crazy cultists. Next up, we have Pandaren. Yep, I'm playing Axios Kyrakis, who is a bard trying to live and not die. Uh, but yeah, he's also here with his friends in a dungeon full of drow and also fire dudes. Next up, we have Griffin. Hey, everybody, I'm Griffin. I'm playing Baron Kicks the Shield. He's one of those fire dudes, but a different one. Uh, he's definitely the totally the leader of the party. Uh, he believes heroes stand up for uh, stand up against all odds, and he has immense ego. There we go. I remember my character. I swear. And that's when I we have Theta. A uh, quick question before I say anything: Are we a level ten or a level eleven right now? Eleven. You should be eleven. Right eleven. Now. All right. So you we'll got just a, add six points real quick. <laughs> you got a truck ton of, me of of XP last time. Right, right, but I don't really gain anything other than another attack, I think. So, I just, all I needed to track there was hit more hit dice. Yeah, 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 I'm Billock, Abafar, uh, Battle Master Fighter. I'm a criminal. Mm -hmm. 
I've hitched my wagon to these horses. Could be worse horses to be hitched on. So, uh, we begin as we do. Uh, you pass the, these double doors, and we're going to put you in the other map. I already took your tokens there, so you should be seeing something right now, hopefully. Yep, right here at the top. Let me see. Yep. And it, yeah, and it appears we have transitioned into the spaceship. Incredible. <laughs> no, it's not a spaceship. It's just well-made flooring. Yeah, and like you a have spaceship. Uh, in front of you. You have a double iron doors. These are not bronze. These are double iron doors. Again, you will need to open them by force. Uh. Because they're made for uh, for giants. Hmm. Well, I know who that calls for. But is it a three-man job like last time? These are not that... They're big, but they're not as big as the other ones. Okay. Now, the question is, do you want to do it quietly? Or do you want to just sort of... <clears throat> just push them out of like, ah, whatever. So, yeah. Well, I would like to do them quietly, but I know that uh, Kix is not a very quiet individual. Would you like me to look first, Kix? Oh, absolutely. Be my guest. Very well. Uh, and I will, um, I guess I will stealth over and check out the doors, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you, you want me to roll stealth? Yes, please. Oh, good. 24. Oh, boy, it is. So, uh, I'm assuming the doors are locked? They're closed. It's less that they're locked, is that they're heavy iron doors that need to be pushed. Uh, you said push, not pulled. Yeah, pushed. All right, I will slightly push one with my body weight then, so we could, without tr trying not to make a sound. You don't make any sound, but you it doesn't bulge. Budge. Uh, bulge. <laughs> Either way, that's a problem. Um, is there, uh, all right, is there, a is there a mechanism or anything like that that will help open it or no? Um, aside from the place where you can see in the middle uh, where hands would have put in, but there's no ring or anything like that. It's not on this side of the doors. They might be on the other side, though. I mean, mm -hmm. these doors, they, they lock in the middle, right? So they can open and close both sides, but once they hit the middle, they that's when they lock. Is there any light coming from the middle, or is it like just like slammed together? It, they're slammed together, yeah. Two uh, sla massive slabs of iron, basically. Is... Hmm... Uh, So there's no way to push it open. There's no way to really pull it open. And going in and trying to do this quietly seems impossible. Is that what we're getting at? I mean, if you're careful, uh, you can push it open. But I, I just wanted to know whether you're just going to like, you know, just try to, you know, barge through or try to slowly but surely sort of open them. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, slowly and surely. Yeah, no, but you're going to... Just, just leaning on them is not enough. You have to make a strength check. Ah, I uh, see. Okay. Yeah. St oh, straight, <laughs> straight up strength roll? Yeah, straight up strength roll, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry, everybody. Ah, actually, not bad. 19. Yeah, you yeah. you take traction on the on the floor, like, Maybe it's the new are arm. You, it's giving me the extra strength I need. Are you trying? Actually, yeah, I told you that this new new arm has a strength uh, value of sixteen, I believe. Um, and are you trying to open it completely, or just trying to open it enough that you can actually see outside? Uh, to see to see from the inside, to see from the outside, I guess. Like so, we can see what assess what's in there first. What do dynamic lighting? And put it oh, right up to here. That's what you see so far. Oh, with the you know, with the door slatted, I jar basically. 
So it looks like there's other, looks like other door. I'm assuming these white things are other doorways. Yes. All made of iron as well. Mm. So I go back and I say, there are other doorways. looks like a larger hall. We could probably open the door very quietly and sneak in without alerting then, everybody. Then let's give it a shot. We can start making our way. So I guess then is is this another strength chest to uh, th- strength chest strength test to open the uh, door further to get everybody inside? I mean, they're big double doors. I think with with enough that people can, if you're trying to be sneaky, you can sneak through that through that gap. Oh, okay. but somebody somebody would have to because the doors are heavy. The doors are pushing back on you, so you, you're keeping them open. Like uh, you know. These doors are meant to be open more fully or close fully, right? Well, in have fact, you, you can see now the sort of the mechanism on the bottom. That it's like a, that is designed to sort of make sure that the doors close no matter where they're swung. I now see. that you have some, okay. yeah. So yeah, the idea that that they look. It doesn't matter. If somebody comes home from the bottom, they can open them up. If somebody comes from here, they can push them back, right? But they lock in the middle. Okay. And you're like, uh, you can see sweat coming down. He's like, <laughs> you know, if anybody's going to make it, it might be now. All right. Then we'll go to the other side. Then I uh, suggest we go in now. In fact, I'm going to have Alexander. Uh, well, no, I'll hold the door. Everybody can go in. Uh, is Baylock coming in? Uh, I think everyone is. Yeah, Theta? Yeah, hold on. Okay. He's got to move everyone in. And then I'll slip in myself, so. Everyone else should make stealth rolls as well. And this is where we okay. will fail. Oh, huh. 18. Whoa, wait a second. Heavy armor definitely has disadvantage in general, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. but you have I'm pretty sure a... that's what it was. What's your, your armor actually is made out of... Um, Star metal myth? now. Star metal. Yeah. No, no, it's not, it's not mithril, so... Yeah. So, lots of sneaking around, lots of clonking. I guess we'll just see what happens. Yeah, I need to see the lowest number is 11. Yeah, so it's Alexander. Okay. Let's see what the passive is. Well, technically it's 9, isn't it? Is it 9? Which? Alexander. Yeah, because this uh, Yeah. I mean, it's still, nine. he's still the lowest. It's just yeah, easily seen. I'm assuming that we can all see that guy that's down there south of us. I will assume yes. I'm sorry, are the walls covered in blood? Is that what I'm saying? No. Uh, Okay. It's red rock. It's uh, some kind of red mineral that you don't recognize. So we haven't opened the lament configuration. Well, we'll find out real soon. So it's against nine. Fire giants are a fan of granite. Well, they can take the heat. Oh, yeah. You hear something. Somebody from down here go like... They say something. Unless you understand giant, you don't don't know what they're saying. But there's like... It kind of reverberates across the hall. And you can hear it going like... Cool. What are you doing? It's moving in this direction. What are you doing? Uh, I think the best thing to do would be to get out of immediate line of sight over to the side of the hallway. At least this way we have a chance of ambushing it closer. Mm-hmm. So it's moving over here. Kunk, 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 kunk. Well, these are doors, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but they're metal doors. There's also another hallway. 
You gonna peek around the corner there? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna peek around the corner. Okay, Axios, what was your um thirteen? Thirteen, okay. I'm gonna check something real quick. Was not great. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. The moment you stand there, you see that this to your south, it's right there, right to the south. It's like a wall. But it's like a, a mm -hmm. like somebody had put a curtain, a black curtain. But you realize this curtain is pretty weird because it starts moving and black tendrils shoot out to attack you. So we're going to roll initiative. Cloaker? Ooh. Uh, it's no, it seems wall? like the wall itself. No, this or... right here. Okay. Right here. You don't, you, you, the way I, the, you're going to see what it is. I'm going to show you the creatures yeah. that I used in substitution. They it, work like that. It's but, ultimate uh, to everyone. The floor is attacking. Look out. Yeah. yeah. I just saying cloaker all the time because when uh, I was doing uh, okay. Gar's backstory and everything, Fuck. it's all it's under dark and the, the dark is filled with cloakers. Here we go mm -hmm. again. No, it's yeah. worse. It's ropers. Gosh. Well, the wall acts. This acts like ropers essentially. Like yeah. the way they did it was that they put two ropers together. But it is a magical item. Uh, uh, you haven't watched Tower of Druaga. There's a whole song about literally what you're describing. One roper on another roper's back. Yeah, so uh, 16, uh, I, I go in 15, so kicks 19. And, okay. Uh, and also, yeah, this guy's gonna, gonna hear what's going on, so I'm gonna also roll initiative for him. For who? Well, the guys in the south. They go on five. Oh. So, Kix, what are you going to do? This wall seems to be, you know, black and, you know, tendrils start to sh start to shoot out. Right. I have problems on two sides, and I have to decide which side I should probably go and deal with, which I'm going to go ahead and fortify on this side. So I'll just go ahead and take, like, a step here so that when he comes around the corner, I can do something about him. Or, or, well, I guess I'll just, like, save my action. Hold hold my action to charge as soon as, like, he comes around the corner. That's what I'm up to right now. Okay, I mean... Gonna give myself a blue there, and let's just see what happens. I just see you're adding more people. <laughs> <laughs> Other things are happening as well. Are we about to be destroyed? They're about to go into combat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me do that descending again. The Ropers. Well, the Ropers can attack. Well, they can attack uh, Axios, Belloc. And Zedda, they have the reach. The fuck? Uh, yeah. Uh, their reach is... At least 15? <laughs> uh, they have a reach... Um... How to climb back in. Nobody can run up to 600 at a time. Each other can be attacked. To try and... Um... False appearance, target grapple, reaches 50 feet. Woo. Yeah. So one is going to attack Axios, the other one is going to attack Bellacor. Uh, so the one's on Axios. Uh, I have four attacks. Uh, with uh, with Sendrils, uses reel and makes one attack when it spikes. So if it, if it hits you, it can reel you in. That will be... Uh, so two attacks for tendrils, one for real, and one for uh, for the bite. Or if I miss all of them, then I'll try to reel you in. So mm -hmm. first tendril. Yep. Uh, that's a grapple. Yep. So the second one is the real, and uh, the third would be the bite. Yep. That's one bite, and another bite. Oh yeah, that will be um thirty-two uh thirty-two uh wow that's forty. Forty points of damage. 
basically you see a couple of dark tentacles grab Axios and just shove it into this black wall right right and then the attacks on uh Belloc. again tendril if i hit i can do the reel and if i do the reel i do the attacks maximum of four uh i believe miss. that's a hit right what's a miss okay i see 17. Second miss. Mm -hmm. Third. Yep. Yeah, all these things start shooting out, but you, you know, you ably dodge and hit the wall and all that, and no, no hits there. Uh, Alexander. All right, Alexander's going to move in, I guess, over here to help out his buddy. And sword and shield up. So, one-hander, mm -hmm. and I would like to also put a smite on that. Okay. I guess uh, 22, does that hit? Yeah, 22 will hit. All right, we're going to do 10 slashing, plus we're going to do uh, divine smite. Um, we're going to keep it a, we're going to see, first level slot is 2d8. We can increase that, though. I might as well uh, make it a second level slot, so we'll make it 3d8. Okay. For nine extra smite damage on the roper that has uh, Axios entangled. So 19 okay. total. 19, yeah. That's all. Axios, he you are grappled. That was terrible. He has you have more attack. attack. You have actually two attacks. Oh, Lael does. Not Lael. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alexander. Uh, Alexander okay. Uh, no, one. actually, let me... Because the smite yeah. does more damage. At 11, he gets it. improved smite. Okay, so that's... Uh, not an extra attack? Yeah. Oh, well, he also has yeah, extra attack for uh, so, four. Yeah. yeah, in general, he just deals an extra D8. Or an extra D8 on top, then. Mm -hmm. And you get a second attack. For another one. <laughs> Yeah, and that, that that one doesn't... Well, yeah, you do one point there. You realize that what's really damaging this tapestry is um, it's your smites. Like, your blade kind of sends it, but it's, it's like a, a black mana, and your blade sort of, sort of you know, undulates, and when it hits, it sort of ripples, and hmm. so it doesn't do a lot of damage. I see. Actually, uh, you are grappled. Oh, he has uh, his, his second attack. Which can deal radiant damage if he hits. Did you attack with your second attack? I only did, did the one. Okay, attack a second time, please. Uh, 13, I don't think is a... Yeah, yeah. alright. No. We're done. Uh, so I'm grappled. Mm -hmm. It's a DC 15. It's your restraint uh, and disadvantage on strength and checks and... Uh, strength checks and strength saving throws. And the roper can use the same tendril on another target. So, you're getting chewed. Basically, you're getting chewed to death by this black. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Well, to be clear, is this uh, is this functioning as two independent things or one thing? It's one thing, but it has the combined hit points of both. Okay. Uh, that's exceptionally bad <laughs> for me. I mean, somebody could jank you out. Yeah. That's the next step. It's, uh, it's just like athletics or acrobatics to escape. So that's not going to ever go well. Um. Okay, well, I guess I could just teleport. It might be better to just walk around the other hallway. Uh, just wait into that other hallway. Puts you right in front of the fire chariots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I think you're still walking up the hall towards us. Alright, I, I will use my action to escape the grapple via teleportation. Okay. 
Uh, and I will put myself... I guess, like, over here. Just so it cannot physically reach me around a corner. Yeah, it, can, around it, it a has corner. long reach, but it cannot, you know. Yeah, I'm around a corner, basically. Was. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Bonus action. Inspire. Let's see, who, who's after? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll inspire Belloc. Why not? Might need it. You know, all this time, I have never gotten inspiration from you before. <laughs> okay, well... Uh... I just mean to the point where you're so high level that I've never played with a bard this high level before that I don't even know what your inspirations do anymore. Uh, it's a d10, 20 attack, save, uh, or ability check. And if it fails, you keep the inspiration. Got it. Okay. So, uh, Belloc, as you are about to do whatever you do... Uh, a, someone comes through the wall and says in, in Elven, but you recognize the dialect because it's your dialect, uh, what in blue blaze is going on here? He has the weapons drawn and sees you, sees, Alexa, sees everybody, and just goes for Alexander. Through the wall. Oh, through yeah, the they get Roper wall. Yeah, he walked through it. Got yeah. it. So I was thinking it's ghost dad. Fabric. Yeah. So he's going to do two attacks against Alexander. Your reference is Ghost Dad? Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, first one misses, second one hits. Uh, for eight piercing damage. And you go simultaneously, Belloc. So it's like, this guy's happening. It's like, and he's shouting, it's like, what's going on here? Uh, well, what I get do? I get four shots, so I'm going to take two at this guy and see if that takes him down. Okay. Um... And I'm also going to do the minus 5 to plus 10 damage trick. Ah, uh, sharpshooter. Yeah. Of course. Just a Miss. 15, 15 minutes. Misses, uh, I'll use the inspiration. Fair enough. Does a 22 hit him? Yeah, so hit him, yeah. So we take 16 from the first. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, hey, Griff. Question. Answer. Maneuvers. are They're not part of the action economy, right? Uh, no. Correct. Once you have hit, you get to choose that you want to use a Battlemaster maneuver. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to use Precision Strike, which is, you know, in case I miss, which is mm -hmm. a D10. Nice. So, 25 yep. hits, I'm assuming. Yes. So, another 19 damage. Still up? Still up. 35. All right. Well, I've got two more shots, so I'm just going to make these at normal. Does the, the 19, 19 hit him? 19 hits us. So an additional seven. Very nice. Yeah, he's still, still there, but pretty wounded. All right. That's me. Okay. Lale. Oof. Uh, uh, Lale is waiting for the giant to turn the corner. Mm -hmm. So I okay. am... Same action as kicks, then? Pretty much. Alright. So the draw mage is going to... Fair end. enough. Yeah, he's I here. mean, we're going to need all the help we can get against the giant, so... Uh, Yeah, the giants. Let's see how far the giants can move. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. They might actually get here this turn. Yeah, they don't move that fast, but... Uh... And you've seen how hard they hit. We cannot keep this guy up that long. They charges down, so. and the and you and he's like, "Hello!" He, well, you don't recognize his voice. Like he's saying something. You have no Three, idea. What five, he's four, five. Exactly. He is a stereotype. I smell the blood of a Greyhawk man. <laughs> <laughs> Better than an Englishman. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. The fire giant did that. Sebda. He, I mean, he has a sword, and he also has a bag of uh, of rocks, so he can also attack at range. Maybe. Okay. Aha! But you have stepped into my trap. Got a bunch of rocks. Because it is I, Kix, and I warned you. Uh, so yeah, he's in my thing, stepping up, and I'm just gonna take a swing real quick. 
Yeah, all of the held actions. And when he's done, I charge him. A 16 to hit. Nope. Ah, what a shame. You see, he has heavy plate armor that is also black, also like a black and iron. Plate how, man. how dare you also be an armored warrior such as that? <laughs> I charge in. If that was a hell action, you only have one attack. 19. Yeah. But, but that's a hit, yeah. So he takes 12 piercing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on this. Go for it, kicks. All right. Not I yet. Not yet. I got. Gonna... Yeah, we got we got a half second here, huh? No, we got new combatants on the field. I think. Uh, oh. How do you do? How, out do, you do, how do you do percentage? D100. Uh, 1d100, what? D100. Yeah, D100. Yeah, D100. Yes. The wandering monsters, no. <laughs> mm, you wish this was a wandering monster. Let's see if I can. It's actually stopped up backing up to kill me. Shoot the guy uh, next to Alexander. Alexander can take the hit. Okay. I guess we could see if fire is effective against this. Yeah, let's see what that can do. Let me see uh, if... I don't think that Fire Giant's going to be affected by the fire. Oh, no, not crap. that, the curtain. Oh, the curtain. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll probably burn. It's also magic damage, so... Place a fire on the curtain. Does the curtain take damage? Uh, just a second. I'm doing something else. Like... Okay. Mm. Let me see. Oh yeah, they they can't move. They'll they'll just eventually cook. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. I mean, it's something worth looking at. Nope. Pick something else. No, that's too much. You're going down the list just going, what's the worst thing I can throw at him? <laughs> I can see it. Quick, zoom and enhance on his glasses. Reflect what he's about to put in. <laughs> uh, well, he, uh, whoever it was, summoned something. Ooh. No, this I don't think there's a open. giant in here that's too big for the hallways. I think I got a guess. I'm just not going to say anything. He's on all four. It's just... Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the weird one. Don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. I said it before, I was using old Dungeon Magazine uh, adventures for stuff I was using. And mm -hmm. there's one, which is a whole series of underdark tunnels. And there's a giant in there, but he's too big for the salt mines that he's in. So he's constantly covered in salt, and the players mm -hmm. have to, are supposed to negotiate to get around him. Because he's not hostile, he's just way too big to get around. Right, and if you kill him, the same problem still exists. He's still blocking the way. <laughs> Except now he's less mobile. Because, I mean, yeah. it's, like, described like he's wedged in place. Not wedged in place, but it's, like, just, you know, imagine being stuck in one of those horror things where, like, oh, no, the hole in the cave is designed for me! Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. This week on I Shouldn't Be Alive, this <laughs> fire giant was out camping by himself in the Underdark when suddenly... Yeah. Now he has to crawl his way to safety. Just trying to find something that, because the the one that I <laughs> should have, it's not here. So oh oh yeah, it's it's preparation thing, right? Ah, uh, 
I feel you. Ooh, I feel you. Too weak. These are either too weak or too strong. I mean, against you guys, you could probably could kill in a one on one, but. Uh, I mean. In our current knows? situation, who knows? Ah, uh, this would be fine. Well, the problem. Well, the solution here is we just need one of you guys to die. Then you'll come back with a completely fresh new character. Yike. We'll be finishing this campaign by inches. Yeah. We already, uh, we already against, are. Okay, so... Um, yep. Uh, what? Let me see. You... Sevda. Okay, Sevda um, did fire, right? Uh, yeah. So the wall... Well, the wall can make it a save. Yeah, it does so get it a deck down. save. Yeah, no, the wall can make a deck save. I don't know Just if it's... Take that. Take okay, damage. but it, it does take the damage. Cool. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. Keep in concentration on that, then. At least for now. Okay. Uh, and I'll say it's, it's in the middle. I imagine it must it be uh, screaming like when the thing gets set on fire. <laughs> uh, kicks. Fire Giant is in your, in your face. All right, he's in my face, and I'm going to go ahead and bring the storm to him. I'm pulling out Storm Fury, and guess what? I have three attacks around now. And guess what? I'll have six attacks when I action surge, because he probably won't die from just three. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and start off. Let's start with number one, a 20. That's a hit. That's a hit. All right. In that case, I'm going to attempt a disarming strike to start off with just to see. It's going to be 16 damage total, and he has to make a 17 strength saving throw. Uh, so he drops whatever he has. Let's see. Well, he has to make a save saving throw? Yep, that's right. And after that, we'll go ahead and keep moving along. 11, he drops it. Wow. Holy shit. There you go. Kicks wow. and disarms a giant. He's only I mean, he, got he, he, Actually, no. He just picks it up in his turn. It takes his action to do so, basically. But it's still good. Uh, uh, that said, though, I'm going to go ahead and keep swinging. How much, how much damage you did so far? Uh, 16. Plus 16. 3 electric lightning. Oh, yeah. Plus Whatever. I keep forgetting so, that other tab is there. Too. 19. Yeah, yeah. 19. 19. Then. Thank you for mm -hmm. reminding me. Gotta, okay. gotta not nerf myself into the ground here. Yeah, the lightning kind of seeps in the arm. It's like, and he drops the, 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 the blades. Like, oh, oh. Ah, static shock. Next one is a 28 for 21 damage. Ooh. And the third attack is a, only a 16 to hit. Nope. Which means that is a mess. Uh, I'm very certain this did not kill him. Is that correct? That is correct. Well, I'm going to go ahead and action surge right now, and I will go ahead and continue. Attack number four, 17 to hit. Nope. Yep. Once more, a 26 to hit for 15 damage, and I will go ahead and do a distracting strike right now for an additional two. So that is 17 points of damage, and the next uh, not me to hit him will have advantage. Okay. And the last final six attack, a 27 to hit for 12 points of damage. He's pretty banged up. You got this, Lael. How much was that? Uh, a fair bit. Okay, uh, again, pretty solid. Uh, the, the ropers, uh, they take damage, so roll damage for fire. Uh, yeah, yeah. one second. Well, five. Is there any ones? It was not a one. That's so sad. Uh, but they attack as well. Yeah. So, uh, again, they're going to try to get Belloc and then Alexander. You dealt 69 damage. Not bad. Nice. I nice. couldn't have done it better myself. Uh, so, uh, again, bite, bite until I can hit, and then tendril and real. What's the order? Belloc or Alexander first? Uh, Alexander first. Got it. So, tendril. That's a hit. He reels. Uh, so he has two bite attacks against Alexander. Okay, so one hit for 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he is... And Grapple. then now for Belloc. 
Um, that's 18 plus 20 on top, so it's 38. Not a crit. No, not a crit. Oh, okay, I just want to make sure I read that right. Yeah. And then now tendrils for Belloc. Miss. Miss. Hit. And reel, but no bite. Yeah, I was really hoping. I was getting that lucky train going. I mean, you you avoided a lot. Yeah, seven Alexander. out of eight or whatever. Mm-hmm. All right, well. What's the bigger problem here? The fucking... All right, uh, Belloc. You're restrained, you so you can't even really. attack. And right, you yeah. have a draw fighter beside you that can just has advantage on attacks on you. All right, I have a question. You have a question, yes. Aaron, let me, let me get uh, restrained for you. Oh, I just realized my hand crossbow macro was wrong. Can I do a smite by touching the wall? No. It has to be a melee attack. Oh. And you cannot attack because you are both oh. restrained and... Um... Yeah. And grappled. And grappled. Uh, Interesting. Well, he can attack with... You grapple his... and the grapple gets restrained. So I have to... Uh... Well, you have this advantage. Yeah, uh, you have a disadvantage. But... Disadvantage. But you can't attack with your sword. Well, but can I uh, can I actually escape the grapple? Yes. Uh, if you attack that, if you escape, that is your action. Uh, it's either athletics or acrobatics, DC fifteen. Uh, athletics, then obviously. Um, muscle my way out and roll out of the grapple for now. Roll it. Eighteen it makes it. Pacha, I guess I'm like slightly away from it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Axios. Um, your turn. Does a uh, no bonus actions for the paladin? Uh, is he gonna do any bonus actions? I don't know if he has any. I just... Well, he got a whole bunch of threats to choose from. Yeah, there is a lot going on. Uh, let's see, what can I do to this? Uh... Oh, I can cast Chains on the Fire Giant. That seems reasonable. Let's try and uh, fuck up the Fire Giant. I think he's been... I was going to say, move his weapon. Well, I can't move his weapon because it's fucking giant. Uh, I can attempt to prevent him from picking it up, though, and also a bunch of other shit. Uh, and I will throw some unsettling words his way. Because he managed to get disarmed by a dude uh, one-ninth his size. Okay, uh, so 16, that's a charisma save, okay. Yeah, he, no shot. He's just rain. Okay. Yeah, so, uh... Let me say he's... He's fucked. And he takes psychic damage. How much psychic damage? Uh, it was 16. Okay. Draw a league warrior. Uh, he sees that you escape, so he's gonna make two attacks against Alexander. Alrighty. Two short sword attacks. That's a miss. Okay. Nice. Oh, good. Belloc. Uh, question. Uh -huh. The disadvantage right now comes from which source? Being uh, restrained. Being restrained. Restrained. Okay. So it's not the distance. Yeah. No. And the way to escape this is what? Acrobatics. Or acrobatics or, or, or yeah. athletics. And this is just a check. It's not a save, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just a grapple escape. All right. Makes it. So I back off and then I action surge. Yeah. Which will give me two attacks, right? Uh, uh, yes. The base attack and then the. It'll give you what? You're you have two extra attacks, right? Uh, well, three. Uh, yeah, two extra attacks. Sorry, two extra. So you'll attacks. have three and a bonus action. So four. Okay. 
Uh, and to clarify, when I said that my macros were wrong for my hand crossbow, I didn't add in the plus two from the uh, fighting style mm -hmm. that I have. Uh, okay. And because, well, last time I did it on a character sheet, it automatically put it in there, and I just realized it didn't. So now it is. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take the uh, the minus five sniper shots again. On two no, you them. cannot make any attacks whatsoever. I That's did, your action, action surge. I just action. I said oh, okay. action surge. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was the whole conversation we just had. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I will send something. Go ahead. All right, so again at the wall. I'm assuming 23 hits. Yeah. And the next one. Yeah. That's serendipity. Uh, still up, I assume, right? Yeah. All right, I guess I'll not see logic, and I'll do another two snipers. With what? What do you mean with what? Well, he has his attack. third extra attack. Yeah, my third extra attack, and level, then the and bonus action bonus attack level. from uh, crossbow expertise. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you, you basically yeah. get four shots. It's insane. Uh, yeah. Does a 14 hit? Normally, he gets no. a bunch. All right. I'll it hits, but does no damage. I'll yeah. do as a superiority, uh, superiority guy for precision strike. Uh, does a 22... Well, Eight. we already know what 22 hits. Yes. So, 18, and then some mark off that, and the last shot. It's a 19 hit. Yes. Nice. An incredible display of crossbow mastery. So, what, 77 damage? Not quite. You see that this wall sort of ripples and moves, uh, uh, and seems that your, your attack seems sort of Kind of undulate when it uh... halved. It's like thirty-eight. 38. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm poking little holes in it. Just need somebody to get in there with a sword and grip it. Thirty-seven. Leo. All right, time to go nuts. Uh, we'll burn a key for the multiple strikes. Yeah, so he is uh restrained mm -hmm. himself. So not attacking. So you have advantage. Just... Oh, I have advantage to attack him. Perfect. Yeah. He... Well, that All was right, good. Then. I think the 14 misses, but everything else hits. Yeah. Uh, so 12 plus 12, that's 24. 5, 6, 10, 8, 9, 31, 32 damage total to him. Um... I should probably use that psychic thing on the dagger, but I'm trying to save that because who knows when we'll need it. Is hey. he is he dead? No, he's not. He's restrained, right. but he's not dead. All right, he's getting there, though. He's I'm still sure. pretty fucked. Okay. You know, he can't move or so, anything. Talking about movement. The, what's the area of this? Oh no. I don't remember fire giants being so busy. Line. Well, I mean, there are giants. True. They are very low. Oh boy, that's big. Yeah, in that area appears the a mass of tentacles. A mass of ten dark tentacles erupt from the ground on the walls. Oh, Jesus, not this again. Yeah. That is. <clears throat> it's fun time. Ever it's black tentacles, or just black tentacles. Uh, everybody Reflex, has right? To... Yeah, that is a strength to dexterity check. Uh, no, you're restrained. Uh, when a creature crits its affected area for the first time or turns, starts its turn there, the creature must succeed a dexterity saving throw, take 3 6 point da damage. So, on your turn, you make the saving throw. Okay. 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 Um... Do we know where it came from? Uh, nope, it just appeared. Okay. The uh, fifth dimension is just phasing into our reality now. Yeah. Nick's this blitz Nick is after us again. Oh, we're really screwed then, if that's the case. <laughs> uh, the fire giant's gonna make a saving throw to escape the... Uh... Yep. It's fine, Griff. Just say his name Thank backwards. It's a charisma save. You're asking yep. too much, Theta. And he fails. 16 damage. And he's getting very damaged. But will he be dead yet? Uh, 
soon, maybe. Perhaps. One on one, you know, or one on, you know, six, we can take him. Febda. Roll that's... damage for the fire. I See, suppose. that's that's the no, problem. I think, uh, no, that's on their turn. turn. Yeah, yeah turn. that's on uh, his turn. So why she's going to do? She sees this eruption of black yeah. from the walls and the ground. It's like right in front of her. Like, uh, she's like, ooh, well. And it kind of like a deep void that into the ground. Okay. Uh, let's take a step away from that real quick. Um, Let's see. So we still have that drow dude over there uh, and a wall don't know where the tentacle spell came from a large man is restrained so probably focus the uh, guy oh wait just a dumb question. Yeah, I think we... These oh. doors, they all are closed, right? Oh, yeah. The giant and the... Yeah, they go simultaneously. So uh, you hear another stumping giant coming this way. I think this door just okay. disappeared. Or maybe just underneath the tentacle. It's probably it's underneath, just underneath, underneath the thing. Underneath, underneath I just the want thing. to make sure, because I don't remember if it was asked or... Mm -hmm. I remember you told us it was okay. they were made of metal, but I mean... Yeah, if one of these doors hallway. were open, then the came from nowhere thing is like, oh, it came from that door that was open. Hallway is still blocked by the one dude, so we should be okay from that other guy for a little bit. Um, she's gonna throw a bolt at the drow. Okay. That's a hit for four fire damage. Good. See, she's there, I guess. Uh, still no bonus action for now. Okay. From the wall erupts another creature that is flying, but it's above you, about 20 feet of the ground. Oh, that ain't great. How tall Two is there. the hallways? Uh, these ones are 30 feet. Yeah, they're not as tall as the ones that you were alone. We're big caverns. This is a little smaller. Yeah, Jabba's going to want his assistant back. Here. Mm -hmm. okay. Bib for yeah, that thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, say... thing, that <laughs> thing. You see this bloated figure, you know, pig like figure with tiny little wings, but flying. Oh, I look around, I like, ah. Mortal. Does it actually talk like that? Yes, it does talk like that. I'm already impressed, and I can't wait to kill it. Yeah. Hicks, now you make a saving throw. DC 14. Uh, actually, you're restrained. In order to escape, you... Uh, I need you to make the make save first to see yeah. if I'm restrained. Deck so save we'll first. see what happens. No, I mean, I love your confidence. Can use it. No, 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 no. When a creature enters it, yeah, my second saving throw. throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving throw first. We'll see what happens, and then I get to see if I get to escape. Yeah, the two or a three. Well, I could choose to re-roll it, but honestly, my odds weren't great anyway. I'm captured right now. All right, so I'm At restrained. Least you can make a strength check this time uh, and roll yeah. me that damage. Nine points. Uh, used it. Nine points. Yeah. I believe armor probably doesn't reduce that because magic. Nope. There we go. So oh, nine well, points. It's, yeah. It's bludgeoning damage. It's bludgeoning damage. So yeah, you do take you take six points of damage. You okay. can do oh. a strength check. I can. And uh, only strength. after the save. Yep. Uh, and that would be an action now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm going to use indomitable and reroll that. Okay. Wow. Even worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> kicks tried his down. best. Yeah. All right, then as my option, I am going to move back to my shield while I'm currently restrained in such a way. Uh, the ropers take damage from the fire, but before they get do that, water they, back. they also attack. Uh, so roll me the damage for the fire. Nine. Nine, okay. Nine, 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 nine. Round three. How's Roper Wall looking anyway? 
uh, somewhat torn, but still there. So real Natalie and Brulia. So again, uh, two at uh, attacks on Alexander and on Balak. And yes, I know the creature seems to be in the middle, but remember, it's flying above 20 feet. Wasn't to say anything. Yep. It's just a reminder to the audience as well. I'm just going to continue my 90s references. <laughs> so, uh, Roper number one against Alexander. Uh, remember, attacks until real and bite. If I miss all, there's no real and there's no bite. So, Tendril. I believe that's a hit. Robert. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I thought I didn't know you were talking about Alexander. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so I get to do uh, one real and two bite attacks. Go for it. Bite misses, bite hits. 24 points of damage. And the second roper tries to get uh, Belloc. He's been very lucky this time. A tendril. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. Real. And now bite, bite. Ooh, that's a miss. Oh, that's a hit. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of points. 34 damage. Alexander. I guess I'm under this guy. We're restrained again? Yeah. Fuck it, I'm attacking the fucking... I'm attacking the ropers. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna smite as well. You have disadvantage, but yeah. Uh, 18 is the lowest for the second hit. Oh wait, yeah, that's... 18. Wait, wrong character, wrong character. Ignore that. Twenty is the lowest. Yeah, twenty hits. So okay. that's eight plus a smite. So that's a th just a regular one now. Three d eight on top. Mm -hmm. For twenty one on top of it. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, your, this... uh, d eight for uh, the improved smite. That was already added on top. So you have eight, and you have five, and. 20, 26 points of damage, correct? Uh, actually, you take... Yeah, um, 26. Probably just add the smite into the attack roll. It's 21 plus 5, so it's 26. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I gotta calculate something first. Um... Wait. Minus something else. Yeah. The, the, it's getting torn, but uh, you can see holes in it. It's like, like a canvas that is being torn. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's still there. We've both written our names in it. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Us, you have to make a saving throw now. Say, I made it. Oh, well, then you are in a difficult terrain. Yeah. What are you going to do? Difficult You're... terrain. I would like to move out of the difficult terrain. Uh, so let's see. I guess I will just move here. Because mm -hmm. I think it covers these two squares, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that that's the one I can get to. Okay. Uh, which is out of the area. Now for actions and stuff. Let's see. I am currently concentrating. Mark that down. Second turn, I think. Um, probably can't do that, but I could. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna um, cast blindness on whatever the fuck this dude is. Okay. Base level and everything. Con save. Con save. Okay. He made it. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, you can see that sort of darkness goes around his eyes and he goes like, Yeah. Man, whatever. Mortal magic. 
<laughs> he's, um, by the way, he's not in the initiative order. Uh, I know the initiative he's going into. So, Lael hasn't made his deck save, right? No. Nope. Yet. Okay. His dex is pretty good, though. Yep. That was, what, DC 15? Mm -hmm. I have a plus nine, so... Mm -hmm. I believe in you to not fuck that up, so I'm gonna hold the inspiration. Now the drow. The drow is going to make two uh, attacks on Alexander. Alexander didn't... No, he attacked, so yeah, I have advantage on these attacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, joy. I miss. I hit. Or nine piercing damage. Nine? Okay. Yeah. Because you uh, are immune to poison. Mm-hmm. Uh, Belloc. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tap into my drow abilities and cast Fairy Fire on a square right here. Okay. The intent being that it comes over here and hits this drow and, you know, 20-foot square around it, so I'm in there, too, but mm -hmm. everybody but Alexander would be a part of it. Only enemies get affected. Oh, is it? Are you putting... Are you putting it in the air? When I read the text, putting on the I'm putting it in the area that hits the fat pig, get flying pig guy, and the wall and the drow. How how much is the area of twenty the... foot? Uh, twenty foot square, so it would reach twenty feet up, or twenty foot cube, whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're saying it only hits enemies, then whatever, I'll cast it. Whatever hits all that. But when I was reading the spell, I just read that it hits everything. Yeah, yeah. it hits everything. Yeah. So if it hits everything, I'll just avoid hitting Alexander with it. Okay. Fair enough. That I mean, would be... Puts me in there, too, but I have a mm -hmm. fairly good deck save. Plus, I'm in Alexander's shield as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to make uh, three saving throws here. What is the... Oh, shit. Oh, the it's not going to be... Gonna... Yeah, it's not going to be that hard to <laughs> pass it. I forgot I'm shit charisma. Oh, it's a, uh, yeah, dexterity so save. Because it's a uh, brow magic. I made it's based it. on my charisma. The demon made it. Oh, it was magic resistance. Yikes. Dexterity. Oh. He also made it. And let's see if this guy makes it. I made it. There's another guy in there? There's another guy in there. And he didn't make it. Uh, oh, oh boy! Oh, look who's no longer invisible. You Fucking sneaky guy. At least something. You cool. At least something good came out of it. it wasn't a total waste. That of is time. pretty solid. He's like, he's like, what the? And he's saying, he's speaking in Elvin, he's like, what the fuck? No. All right. Well, he's the only one affected. Yeah. You know what? Though? Well, I guess the the curtain also. Gets targeted. I don't know if it can get targeted by that. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's I mean, fairy like fire a affects creature. everything. It didn't even affect animate, inanimate objects, so I don't see why it wouldn't affect okay. the curtain. Okay, let me. Any roll creature in the area. For duration object. Yeah, yeah. Uh, each object. object. It yeah. Actually, yeah, it actually absorbed the part of the fairy fire. So yeah, no. Fucking happened. black hole curtain. Yeah, yeah. In my defense, I forgot it was a charisma based spell. So. Well. No, they actually, found a mage, so actually what I forgot was that I'm shit charisma. Yeah. Uh, Leo. Finding a mage is pretty good, though. Especially the one I didn't know was there. How, this giant looks like he's almost dead, right? Make a deck save. Oh, I know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that I, too in a second. He is pretty low. Mm -hmm. Though there is another one on the way. I'm, I'm okay, fine. You're fine. Should probably uh, a square out, though. Uh, fine. Where are you gonna move? Okay. I will actually move that... into the hallway. Yeah. And I'm gonna take out this giant, so at least we have one that we don't have to worry about. So, he still have advantage. Yeah. Okay. So st stab, punch, punch. I'm not gonna use a key for this. Uh, I twenty one advantage. Yeah, I know that. So twelve. The twenty one and the twenty hit. Yeah. yeah, I know that. So it's twenty damage. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. That's Not concentrating one. anymore. 
All right, that's one uh, giant down. Ah, and now there's another one on the way. Yeah, I know. I want him to. I hope he note. Does he notice me? Yeah, he notices yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, good. I'll I'll notice distract me, him. I'll distract that that guy. You guys keep doing what you're doing. The drow mage panics mm -hmm. and sends a lightning bolt down the range. Say, oh my god! Say, Leo oh. says that I thumbs oh, up through a now. from a thing full of roper tentacles. Yeah. Lightning bolt, huh? What level yeah. is that lightning bolt? Uh, that would be a little high. Uh, well, how high can he throw the lightning bolt? It's relevant. It's basically it hitting everybody, isn't it? Well, here the joke here is that yeah. uh, he's yeah. actually throwing a, a tennis ball with lightning bolt written on it down the hallway. <laughs> level, it's lightning level bolt. five. Classic. Oh my god, that's a big lightning bolt. He did panic. When you panic, just shoot a fucking bolt of lightning down the hallway. Yeah, well, no kidding. To be fair, we are all in a serendipitous line, so it's... Uh, yeah, you don't yeah. get another chance like that then, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll... No... No. No, we're we're not allowing that. What's the MS stand for? Be mystical secrets. Did you uh. actually counterspell it? Yeah. Shit. I'm not gonna let us get fucking fifth level lightning bolted. Good man. Like no, fuck that. I can see him now, which means I can counterspell it. You, have yes, you, have you haven't fire. rolled. You haven't rolled. I cast it at fifth level. It didn't give me an upcast for some reason. Oh, okay. But I, I'm going to cast it at fifth level. Well, he's still panicking, so he's going to run away. Fair enough. Yeah, you know, honestly, uh, understandable. This guy moves over here and sees that uh, Leo is there, and he's going to chalk a couple of rocks at him. Please, miss. No, they and don't. 45 points of damage. You yeah, check the wording on deflect missiles. No, it doesn't work with giant missiles. Yeah, I don't I think was, it does. I, no, it I, I work assume with giant it rocks. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm like, check the wording. Arrows, bolts, yes, but if I, I were to go with a does, cannonball, a giant roll, uh, yeah, no. Hey, kicks, can you a disarm this weapon. guy too? I need to get out of these tentacles. They're everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm I hear you. The these tentacles are everywhere. <laughs> oh, you too? Hit by you want a trade? I'd much rather get hugged by the floor than the wall. <laughs> What's scary is they had no modifier for that, and they just rolled really lucky. Oh, wait, no, I lied. They had a plus, el oh, plus 11 modifier. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. they're giants. They're giants yeah. with giant strength. Oh, who are the rocks targeted at again, real quick? Me. Uh, both, both you? All right, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are out of the defense zone. Said that. What are you gonna do? I'm still trying to read deflect missile. Uh, Sevda. Let's see. There's a giant fucking dude over there. The giant Sevda. fucking demon over there. Yeah, Sevda, throw some fireballs down over there, please, where the others are, so they're free. Nah, I mean that would kind of hit them. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. we'll see what we can do. Look, uh, Robert, I. I respect that Alexander's not your main, but I'm over here, too. I can add some yeah. help. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want you to die, either. I mean, you get attacked this uh, Again. Getting your luck. That looks like a literal demon, right? Yeah, that very much so, yeah. He said it was a demon, too, like twice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I actually recognize what kind of demon it is, so at least for yeah. Pathfinder sense. What kind of save is this? Charisma. Versus a 16. It's not horrible odds, probably. Uh... Yeah, probably just going for it. So, Sevda as a uh, pyromancer, is also pretty religious, has some potentially divine bloodline stuff, um, mm -hmm. and is going to invoke that 
to banish the demon back to its fucking realm. Okay. Uh, so banishment. Nice. It's a Unholy... charisma save? Yeah, it's a charisma save. Okay. Unholy beings should not be in this realm. That's a nat 20. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Like, we'll get him he back. really guys. disagrees. He's got a compelling like, argument. Shit on your gods. And it's his turn. Yeah. So Have you met do Doom do Demon guy? Line. Actually, going to move. He's going to fly over here. That way. Let's see. Uh, 50. Yeah. We'll actually, get him next yeah. time, I promise. Uh, he can actually move more than that. Actually, what can he do? Um, yeah, he doesn't want. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna move even further. I uh, look. I'm all hoping is that this uh, dungeon has a good supply of traitorous drow. <laughs> yeah, but I might need another one. Is that a dash or what? Or is he no, just it's fine. Still part of his movement? Okay. Uh, he's going to do this. Right. Wisdom oh, save, that... we'll be fighting for one minute. Each creature within 15 feet. Frightened for one minute, creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of its turn. It is 20 feet okay. in the air, right? It is 20 feet in the air. Not anymore yeah, he, if it's he, coming down. He goes 5 feet long. I don't know, I'm just reading the two yeah. that's on the token. Yeah. I'm assuming so that was 10 be... by 10s. Yeah. 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 So he's gonna go... He's now at 10. So, wisdom save. Yes. On Axios and Seth. Yeah. Myself. Good. Sevda. Also, also good. good. Fuck your fear. We do... banish the demons here. Not run from them. comes here and you see that uh another drow a female drow comes in she's like what's going on here is that you wife <laughs> and she's gonna cast this no apparently not Here we go again i don't know you don't know my history with npcs this could be anyway what's the range on this 20 foot radius yeah, hard man to love uh, no matter what character 20 foot radius basically uh let me see she's, she's gonna, gonna cast a no, nope. well. insects are gonna appear. Oh, this shit again. Yeah, let me see. Oh, this is gonna be a very short fight, isn't it? Wow. Not necessarily. I mean, it's one of two ways this campaign can end: TPK need, or victory. Kind of need people to not fucking stand next to the goddamn ropers. It has a fifty-foot range. We can block it off. We what have wall of fire. You have Wall of Fire. Yeah. Which hasn't been cast uh, once, by the way. Yeah, because you're still fucking standing next to it. We have gotten you... away from it once. You could have cast Wall of Fire along it. That's true, you could have. Uh, yeah, it takes... Oh, really? Let me see. The center... 20. Yeah, it has to be bigger. It takes... All of you are included in this. In my defense, I tried to do over 100 points of damage to it. I you thought did it would try be dead. real hard. But, uh, you know, not having magic crossbows kind of sucks. Yeah, it's like I'm throwing rocks at a piece of paper. It's like... Yeah. It also has, you know, the health of both of them combined or whatever. It's just like 200 <clears> or something. Now she's going to make a saving throw. Because he has to. It's uh, the this, fuck this is happening. It's an insect plague. Yeah, that one, but like, oh, fun. Not fun. Bad. What is this happening. <laughs> so where's the center point? Uh, center point is here. So yeah, Nephilim has also to make a saving throw. Sorry, you said here, but I didn't see like a ping or anything. Yeah, it's twenty by twenty. At least the Nephilim has to make a saving throw, so there's something there. Uh, so I mean, but, but the fierce person on corners, when the area appears, each creature must make a constitution saving throw. 
Uh, everybody who is in it makes a constitution saving throw, please. Let's see what the fuck does. Oh, this one. He makes right. it. He's like, ah, hello. Hello. woman, what are you doing? Nine. Dang, oh. I just have no luck oh. on these saving throws tonight. 50 feet? That's within range. They might, is, uh, Alexander obviously has to do it, but is Lail in range? Well, I'm sitting here. I mean, I'm sorry, again, yeah, I didn't I see where the ping was, so I don't know where the center is. It's here. Oh, let me ping it again. Yeah, I keep see I, you, you're saying it's here, but I'm still not seeing anything. Is it just my roll twenty? Is my roll twenty burnt? Are you guys seeing your ping? No, I'm not seeing it either. No. Okay, I'm She's on. within range. You're, you're not on the measuring tool, are test. you? No, I'm not in measuring. I know. I'm just measuring it. If it's a twenty foot radius, it like hits either yeah. this group or like this group. Okay, so you're putting the center to hit Lail and Kicks oh. as well as Axios and Sevda, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. seems to make so, sense. So yeah, Alexander is outside the range then. All right, so then yeah. I have to roll for Lail. Then Lail. okay. Yeah. How, however, there is another mm -hmm. character with counterspell in this party. Okay. Um, and his name is Gar. He's back. Oh, oh God. However, no, this, I have to make a DC fifteen check to do it right. It's the so fifth level the spell. spell. It's a. Da -da 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 -da. It's a fifth level spell, yes. Yeah, so it would be a DC 15 check to counterspell it. Mm -hmm. Which is you not... May... It's 50-50, quite literally. I think... I don't like this still. I mean, 4d10 is a lot of damage. 4d10 mm. and also, like, whatever else it does. Let's see. 4d10 piercing. And, yeah, it just stays there. Which is annoying. Is Kicks currently being restrained? Yes. So yes. it'd be real bad for Kicks. It'd be real bad for Kicks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go for it. Uh, using a third level slot, so it does have to actually make the test. Mm -hmm. So on a 10 or higher. <laughs> what will fate decide? Coin flip. Nope. Okay, everybody wants to make a DC uh, 14 a constitution con save or right? take 23 points of damage. Half four. Yeah. I already, yep. I already failed. So damage taken. Okay, half damage all around. Mm -hmm. Uh, so how much was it? 23. 23. So 11 points of damage. So 11. Okay. Okay. Not only the tentacles going, also the, the you know stinging flies and and big beetles and all that. And, and yeah. they come, they crawl into your clothing and yeah. Well, the dice specifically the trying to create the most torturous conditions imaginable for kicks. This is great. Well, I guess there must <laughs> yeah. be less bugs on our side of the hallway since Axios and Sevda succeeded and kicks and they'll fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a little tidal wave of bugs. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Kicks. Uh, you have to make two, well, two saving throws. All right, two give me the first one first. Uh, that will be for the tentacles. I believe that's dexterity, so here we go. Six, I'm I'm still not doing too hot there. Seven points of damage, and then constitution for the, uh, for the bugs. All right, this should be a lot better. Hey, there we go. The bugs are fine. Uh, you take 12 points of damage from the bugs. Yeah, 12, reduce it with the armor because piercing, so we're down to 9. Uh, now is definitely the time to go ahead and pop that second wind. Let's get some extra level 11 healing action in here. 16, so that'll keep me topped off for a moment longer. My action uh, this turn is then going to be to try to free myself from restraint. Okay. Uh, DC 15, I believe, is the against DC 15 athletics or Makes athletics. It. You made it. There or we you go. Have, you lose five points uh, just getting out, and then you have your regular limit. So you basically yep. have 25 feet of movement right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move and just straight up interpose with the giant right here. Shields up, swords out right now. Uh, and that's basically just the whole turn. Okay. I am here. Uh, Seb that has to make a constitution... Uh, a... Uh, and see if she sustains the fire. Um, concentration check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Concentration. Good. 
point. Um, constitution. Yeah, you made fire it. is up. So tell me how much damage the fire does this round, because a wall cannot dodge the fire. Six. Six points of damage. Yeah, you're wh whittling it down, but the ropers get to gnaw at... Uh, well, they get a lot of attacks. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. yeah. Three attacks on Alexander and... Uh, like I said, I hope there's another rebellious drow down here. Actually, since, yeah, you get two each. Two bites each. Where's Alexander? Miss. Miss. Oh, you ate um, all my luck. <laughs> for once. Oof. And now for two nat 20s in a row. How good they missed. Yeah, the, the wall is trying to swallow you, but you're sort of tumbling into the in the darkness of the <laughs> thing. It's like, but you're clearly restrained and wrapped into it. More tendrils try to grab you. It's like, you know, this thing is... Uh, uh, Alexander. Fuck this wall. Fuck this wall. Uh, Six, we're smiting. Uh-huh. You have disadvantage? Uh, I know, I, yeah. I already hit one with six, so 11, 17 on the wall. Again, you, it, it's more, it's less the cutting and more when you press it with the, uh, with the, the radiant might of your, of your deity that actually kind no. of burns into the wall. I'm well aware. Is it, is the wall like super weakened at this point or no? It is, it, you're tearing into it, but it's still there. I can never find it when I need it. There's a, there's a, there's a clip from a Suicide Squad attack on Arkham with Amanda Waller getting real pissed off and slapping buttons. She screams, nobody fucks with the wall! Uh, <laughs> Axios, you're in the uh, stinging range of Insect Plague. Uh, make another yeah. constitution save. Twenty points of damage, and I suggest you move. You still got. I know you're still alive, but you probably need to move. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where I can not die. Uh, five hundred feet back towards the surface. Dimension door. You have healing spells, don't you? Yeah. So I can go, like, up here. Um, and I can heal everyone. And unsettling words on the demon guy. For the next banishment. Mm -hmm. Uh, mass healing word, go for everyone. What's the range? 60. 60 okay. feet. So everyone gets 11. Yeah, good as new. Better than 10. Drow Elite Warrior is, has advantage and is going to keep attacking Alexander. Two short shot attacks. Ooh. Also ooh. But 11 All points right. of damage. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> what 11? I don't get it. That'd be that guy. I just had the sudden thought. How did this wall know to attack me? I'm a drow wandering these hallways. Uh, actually, I'm gonna. It's not attacking on. other Wait. drow. So I don't get hit by the That's fucking a good... wall. You know what? That's a good point. How did it know to attack you? Yes, because all drow look alike. Well, clearly that just raises just everyone. That just raises just more questions. In fact, like that's yeah, just saying. How's it not attacking the other drow? Uh. Oh. Bonus action to second wind. So I get 17 back. That was a bonus action. Ah, uh, God. I guess I'll gonna disadvantage attack the wall some more. 
And I got no options. I'm tied to it. You can attack the drow. Yeah, but the drow's not attacking me. No, the other drow, the female. Yeah, I'll still be disadvantaged. I should probably attack the thing that's actively trying to eat me. Hmm. Uh, so... Three attacks, because I just used my bonus action to heal. Uh, fuck it, even a disadvantage, I'll probably just make them with my uh, sniper. Uh, does 18 hit? Let me see, let me see. Uh, that would be a no. 18 misses the wall. Yep. It's not that it misses, it's just that it doesn't do anything. No, fuck it, superiority okay. die. Precision strike. So 20 hits the wall, right? 20 hits the wall, yeah. For another 19 damage. Let it not be said that I went down not fighting the wall. <laughs> Leo, make a constitution save. The fucking me. wall. DC 14. Who left this wall here? <laughs> it's not even a nope. wall, it's fucking like fabric. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 23 points of damage for you. And I also suggest you move out of the way. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but where is the better question? Because there are no good spots here, are there? I mean, you can move to engage the, uh, the giant. That's still out of range of the uh, insect swarm. If you yeah. move to the right hand side of it, I mean. Alright, I'm gonna you fuck. Uh and this thing is still here? Yeah. Both of the effects are there. Because you haven't done anything to take down those who are maintaining it. Well, we don't know who's maintaining it, that's the problem. Well, we know the mage is probably the tentacle one, and we know that this one is the fucking insects. I don't even know where to go. Shit. The uh, mage is somewhere down here. The other one is right there. If you have any healing ability, just back up down the hallway a little bit. I don't. You don't have potions? Oh, you could probably use them all during the last three or four fights. The only potion I have is a potion of fire resist, which has not even come up yet. And nobody else has any more troll blood, whatever it's called. You used that a lot, uh, No, there's, there's still more of those. I don't know who has them. Uh, mostly me. Kicks. Uh, they're in. true. Coming there in. There's you left. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go down swinging then. Uh, and now's the time to, I guess, use it. So we're gonna do four attacks. Remember, if you're gonna use a psychic attack, it has to is a range attack. You have to throw the attack. Oh yeah, that's right. No, well. I'm just going to go in his face. Four attacks. Uh, two hits. Going in his face is the it, real insult. Yeah. You 20... didn't have a critical. I did. 23 damage onto the giant. And uh, I guess maybe if I survive the round, I will uh, do the range attack. We will see. Okay. The mage peaks. What can he do? Oh, he's gonna just do magic missile. No, the lightning bolt. Uh, no, he's not gonna risk it. Uh, magic missile on Axius. Is Axius gonna counter it? No. Do you have nope. shield no. spell? I don't, because I'm a bard. I don't know if bards get all the fucking spells. I don't know what you do and don't get. They, they get weird spells. So, 3d4. Magic uh, shield, I don't think, is one of them. Plus three. Seven points of damage on Axios. Yep. And he picks back. I was like, nope. nope. Not horrible. Fire Giant. He's two enemies. He's going to attack one each. Uh, one attack with the great sword. One on Leo. That's a hit. And Leo is down. Yep. And the other one at kicks. Also a hit, but not down. 
Oof. Uh, back at it again with the banishment. <laughs> okay. So another charisma save, but now with the D8 penalty. Yeah, five classes get shield spell. Not far. Mm -hmm. Uh, still, still on the demon guy. Yeah. Okay. What's the saving throw? It is. I believe I just said it. Uh, charisma. Yeah, well, it's a number. It is sixteen. Okay. At a minus four. Well, okay, that's a fail. Like no. He vanishes. Good. At least we got rid of that. And thing. because he's a demon, I'm going to assume that he's not from this plane. <laughs> Which means he's gone. At least we got uh, rid of that thing. She also is going to step out of the range of anything. Con save. Con save. Since okay, keeps the... concentration, takes whatever damage. The intricate backstory of this demon by his family migrated here from <laughs> the seventh plane of hell. And he was born here, raised by yeah, Mama, well, if he's Papa a demon, demon. To be fair, if he's a demon, he's from the abyss. He's not from hell. Well, you see, you don't know the intricate backstory of the demon's right, grandparents. Uh, how much damage does she take from the insects? Uh, yeah. Let me just roll it. Ooh, it's 40 damage. 24 points of damage. Okay. Well, she still makes the... The concentration save. Oh, bonus action. Is it relevant? Well, like, does it do anything right now? Not really. At least not yet. Uh, but she can quicken a spell, which she will do, and try and hit the mage with the. The th or the the priestess, mm -hmm. uh, with a firebolt. Okay. Yeah, because she can't. Yeah, she can't make it all the way over there. Okay. Well, that's a miss. Plus eight. Roll a three. Okay, she's gonna cast something. Uh, she is going to cast. She has a uh, a whip, so she whips it out and uh, casts a beam from the from the uh, from the beam back to Sevda. And it's this rude. Uh, so four points of damage, poisoned, and she must receive a DC Constitute saving throw or be poisoned until the end of the round next turn. Yeah, con save is good. Four damage. Yeah, four damage. And she backs away. Concentration is fine. Yeah, he, oh, she's yeah, going back there? Him. Okay. Yeah. Because as long as she can keep the spell going, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, kicks. Lael is down. What do you yep. do? Uh, I have to take the giant down on my own, I think. By the way, oh, it, never mind. You didn't do the thing. Yeah. All right. Never mind. You, it wouldn't have, to, you know, it wouldn't have helped them anyway. It, it, it could have, but at the same time, like I didn't see the HP actually going down. Uh, mm -hmm. there we go. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the ax because I need to do lots of damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I have to hope all this works. So let's do it. Let's start with the first attack, Storm Siri. Mm-hmm. 13, going great so far. 17, really doing good. Mm -hmm. I literally just want one hit here. Absolutely none of them. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I mean, his, his sword is so big that he just doesn't have to... He doesn't even parry you. He sort of puts in the middle like... Gum, gum, gum. And, and the electricity arts, but it doesn't cross over to the guard. So it's like... It says something in Giant that you have no idea what he's saying. Kicks just saying something like nice and cliche. I can't get 
let you get to my friends, but he's just not making any progress. Okay, so we're gonna split the, the bites again because you only have fighting half of the wall. Uh, bite, 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 bite. So two for Alexander and two for uh, Belloc. All right, so one for Alexander. Ready. Takes yeah. twelve fire damage. Who takes twelve fire damage? The wall. Oh, okay, yeah, that's important. Yeah. Bite. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, that's forty-eight. Is that Alexander? Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> Again. I mean, it's more than 48. <laughs> How much did yeah. Alexander have? 43. Okay. Yeah, so but it only, only counts as 20 fine. for under. Yeah. yeah, he he was not down on the first hit. Right. Yeah. No, I was. Was he? Uh... Oh, yeah. The 20 oh, yeah. would be the uh, would be after he went that's down. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. Well, that's what? Two death saves. Mm -hmm. uh, but you did how much damage? 12 fire. Yeah. And two bites at... Uh... I mean, at least it's on the NPC and not Lail. Yeah. If I lose both of them, I think I'm done for the night. I'm sorry. Misses on Balak. I mean, if you lose both of them, we're probably all done for the night. Yeah. That'll be the end of story. All yeah. right, ready for a death save for Alexander? Yeah. Nope. He's dead. He got eaten by the wall. He got... You see the wall sort of... And his weapons and armor sort of dropped. It's the opening of Hellraiser 2, right? Yeah. With that pillar that eats that woman. Yeah. Something oh, like that. that. That has stuck with me since the moment I saw it. I mean, in my mind, it's probably <laughs> now a... worse than it was in the movie, but... Oh, it's it's a oh, movie as it, as it is. Axios, what are you gonna do? I mean, worse so... isn't like I've made it worse. Like it's horrifying. What are you gonna do, Axios? Trying to figure that out. Dimension door. You can still get out of here. Tell our story. You're a bard. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps the next band of adventures will do better. I so, mean, there's a cautionary there's not a... tale to adventurers of the future. I mean, there's. I, I'm not against that idea of you teleporting out of here. Grab your fiance and run. Axios, make the tough decisions. No kidding. Look, no one's here to counterspell you if you do it. God, another <laughs> That's true. Another motherfucking crit kills me. I love it. Yeah. It's always going to be a crit. <laughs> to be fair, it was the NPC that was thrust upon you, though. That is true. And now I lose that plus three saving throw bonus. Yeah, so do I. Um... No, fuck it. We're we're doing it. We're doing the story moment. Uh, seeing this dire position that is slowly getting worse. Um, I choose that I don't want to lose. <laughs> so I'm going to cast my new sixth level spell, which has like four paragraphs of text. <laughs> What's the okay. name of it? I bite. Ah, oh, I bite. Yeah, that's the one. That's an interesting spell. It does a lot. Indeed, it does. Uh, so kind of, kind of angry. Who needs confidence when you're angry? You know. Uh, nothing like blind rage. Go at it. Yeah, him. my first. You're, do you're doing it against who? So my first target. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's a range of 60 feet, right? So I can just mm -hmm. hit anything. Oh, anything you can see. Yeah, which is... Yeah, basically anything. You are yeah. middle of the hallway, technically. Yep. Literally anyone except for the mage around the corner. 
Mm -hmm. Um. And other mage, assuming he can go invisible again. Oh, he couldn't. He's fired. Yeah. So, do I want to target a spellcaster or the large fucking guy? I mean, Lail is in a really bad spot, and he's in front of the big yeah. guy. And the big guy is probably gonna beat Kix one on one, I think. No offense, but he does 30 damage on a hit. It would be more fair if I actually got one of those hits in the last three attacks, but we'll see how sure. this goes. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's see. So Miss Miskeed, a wisdom saving throw will be affected by one of five. Yeah. I'm gonna target the fire giant. Mm -hmm. What are you because gonna do? Because it's a. That? Yeah, I'm gonna target him. Uh, I feel like either panicked or asleep is good here. Problem with panic is he runs down the hallway and gets another couple yeah. of fire giants. So I think I go with asleep. Uh, so it's a wisdom save. Okay. On him, do I want to make his save worse? I feel it's worth it to target him more heavily than the spellcasters, so I will. Okay. Well, that's still a natural 20. Mm-hmm. And I go back down here to hide from the wall. And the drow elite turns to the other drow. It takes, like, the yeah, so technically well, the wall now has a free hand, as it were, <laughs> in a 50-foot reach. Traitorous bastard. You don't know I'm a traitor? You just started attacking me. <laughs> uh, what is it, like a smell? Yeah. Do we all have a smell that I forgot to put on today? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he hit me damage. with, yeah, 19. Hmm. Belloc. Can I speak as a free action? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna look at the guy who just hit me with his sword and say, is there any chance we could surrender and you'd let us live? An elven. An elven. Yeah. Uh, drop your weapons and I won't have the wall eat the rest of you. All of you. Surrender now. I dropped my weapons. Does anybody follow suit? I said it in Elven. They don't even know what the fuck. Unless they speak uh, Elven, they don't, I guess they don't really know. Yeah, the wall stuff gnawing you, but it still has you grappled. Guys, we're, in a, we're in a bad spot. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. I mean, he says, tell the others. <laughs> Guys, we're in a really bad spot. I'm dropping my weapons. I think maybe... This, this is bad, okay? I just think I'm putting my weapons down. Okay, Lael. Uh, I, I, I want to say, for the record, if Lael was still up right now, he would not drop his weapons. Well, yeah, because your hands are attached to no. your body. Oh, no, he would keep fighting, because he he's not going to surrender. Because technically, you take your arm off. That's, alright, that's a success, at least. The Drow Mage hears that, and he sort of peeks, but he has a ready action, basically. He sort of peeks around the corner. Has a ready action, like... He heard what you said, and he's like, and he's still glowing. Are you gonna? Are you? Are you also dropping the spell on him? All I was told was drop my weapons. I dropped my weapons. For all intents and purposes, it looks like I'm complying. Well, they know that you, if you're drow, you can do that, so they know. Right, that right. But he only told me to drop my weapons. I mean, even if yeah. he is fairy fired, I can't hit him. I dropped my weapons, so yeah. That's all your spell, traitor. It's not my turn. I think we're all agreement here that we're taking turns hitting one another. <laughs> yeah. All giant. part of the rules. The giant, giant sort of level, levels the sword at you. You can see the giant sword is like... He says something. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm preparing to get the beating of my life. So you do nothing? <laughs> okay. He's no, no. I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be killed. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay. And I don't. Hey, that's a repulse. 
He missed. How the fuck does he miss with you? Uh, and the repulse damage as well. So that's uh, 30, 12, 20, uh, 21, 22 points of damage. That's right. Oh, All right, he's thanks. angry. Well, he missed. What do you want? <laughs> We're both having a bad time. Ted, what are you going to do? He doesn't speak Elven. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck that. You, you saw that the other drow it's wrapped up in the wall. Like he almost see like it's almost his face. Everything else is covered, right? And the, and he drew, dropped the, his crossbow to the ground. Yeah, I mean I also you know, said it, that thing in common, so I mean I said yeah. the whole can we surrender and survive thing in Elvish and then drop my weapons and say, Hey guys, I think we're in a really bad way here. I'm dropping my weapons. Ooh. That's uh well, you yeah, know, I don't, I don't think so. I need the, uh, the Xanarkin theme song, the wistfully sad music to play as <laughs> all of you slow motion yeah. decide to kill yourselves. Yeah. 20 foot radius, huh? Remember, he has a ready spell. He sure fucking does. He's but in the, the Dalamar pose. Do not the people, people who know what I'm talking about. Like... I was trying to remember what the theme song to the last charge and glory hey. was. I guess I could do that, but... What is... What is... What is... What is... Subtle spell? Uh... Semantic or verbal? Alright, I have a question. Subtle spell... Uh, eliminates somatic and verbal components. Yes. Can she try and stealth a spell yeah, before he could do his... Yeah, to not have to make, a, make a, a, a... Um, either slate of hand or stealth check to make sure that he doesn't see your... Yeah, because it would only be, like, verbal. Yeah, if he can... He will have to... You know, maybe you're using another language and he doesn't recognize it. That might be a way to disguise it, but otherwise... I yeah. mean, yeah, she can do it in, like, Celestial. Yeah, you Which still I have to do, like, a... a, 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 a um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the we'll idea is that even if he doesn't understand language, he can under he can get the dangers, like, I don't I don't see that, that thing that's going to hit me, but it looks like it, if it hits me, going to be bad. It's kind of like this. Situation. She's, say, she's just talking in a different <laughs> language. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll try it. Uh, sleight of hand and stealth are both the same, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see what his passive is. Probably better than ten. Yeah, his passive is better than. All right. You try. Says but... some words and casts a spell. What's the spell that she's casting? Uh, and also I will say activates the the mantle at this point. That's the one we all love. So I that's all. 31. Uh, is she casting it at third level? Yeah. Nothing happens. It goes like... Counter counter. Okay. So you counter his counter. Yeah, we're, we're full sending here. We're doing oh, Magic the, the Gathering here. We got the stack. Well, the fireball goes up. He can counter yeah, your Yeah, 31. Um, it's going to hit the two spellcasters and uh, this edge of the wall. Okay. Uh, I should probably turn on the fucking... There we go. So, yeah, it's 31 fire damage mm -hmm. on a deck save. Use the bonus action and everything. Uh, that's her. 
Okay, so two saving throws. Well, three saving throws because the, the wall yep. also has to make a saving throw. It's a deck save. Yep. The wall doesn't make it. That's about what I'd expect. Uh, how much points is it taking uh, with her mantle? 31. 31. Actually, uh, 32. Sorry. One of those was a one. Okay. Yeah. The wall is pretty messed up. See the priestess. Uh, also fails. Takes damage. It's Thirty-two, you said right. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two uh, half is eleven. Sixteen. DC 16, oh, she has to make a con save DC 16. Yeah, so third, yeah, 16. Yeah, so she makes yeah. it. So the spell is still there. And the mage. He doesn't make it. Uh, he has to make a DC. 26? No, no, it's half. 16. Oh, 16, yeah. No, actually, her hers was... Well, anyway, she made it anyway, but... Because uh, she yeah. makes a, yeah, the saving throw. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, since they... Since it's... Yeah, since it's failed, it's max damage divided by 2. Yeah. Yeah. So, 16 either way. So, 16 for the Six, mage. 16 for both, yeah. So that's a con save for him. Ah! This disappears. Okay. It's progress. But the insect plague is still there. Yeah, and they both took 32 damage along with the wall. Which is good. The wall is pretty messed up. Like, you can see daylight through the wall. Well, not daylight, but, you know, the light of your yeah, torches. I hope not. Is coming through. That really disadvantaged me. If it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daylight. The priestess falls back and casts a spell. Okay. Out of sight of you, so she is going to cast... What is she going to do? Oh, this is the wrong character. He's holding um, concentration still. Yeah. This won't take concentration from her. Okay. Um... Uh, You know, heal herself and okay. the mage. Hix, the giant is still there, and there seems to be fighting behind you. And right, like right, and genuinely, I need to do something about this, especially if I'm going to keep Leo from dying at some point. Uh, but that means that I need to hit, and then I need to disarm him. That's my plan. Let's see if it pans out, everybody. So, mm -hmm. Kix, continuing the duel. Attack number one is a hit, which will actually be our first disarm attempt. I'm sorry, I hit distracting there. It's the same dice, but it's also, uh, DC 17 strength. Okay. So, that is looking like 25 damage either way, and he drops his weapon. There we go. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You'll love to see it. Okay, so we got place. two more attacks coming in. Uh, I wish that was the critical, but that is 20 more. So you had 16, sorry, 16 in the first one? Uh, the first one was uh, 25, the second one is 20, and the third one here is 21. So that is 66 total. Now you, you heard him, but he's still yep. there. Heard him, dropped his weapon, reposted his previous attack. Somehow, Kix is going to be standing on two giants, and I don't know who's going to look at that and go, I can take it. So, Kix uh, is done. Yeah, <laughs> the drow turns to the wall and goes like, uh, in undercommon, eat him. And he's going to engage. Uh, he's going to, I mean, you can make a... Attack me four yeah, times? Uh, yeah. two. Well, two times, actually. Well, you still have the other half of the wall, which isn't attacking yeah. anybody, so it can still attack mm -hmm. me. Actually, the the walls can actually uh, try to reel in Axios and set them. 
So they're going to try to do that. Well, half of it can. Yeah. I mean, yeah. One of them can target one of us. Well, I'm around a corner. Uh, that's on Sedda. Is that a hit? A 15. Yeah. So she reels. Welcome to the and, wall. And the other tendril. Yep. Yeah, and reels as well. Got Against me? You got, uh, yeah. Well, the other one's holding around me. Around the corner? Yeah. So you only well, have they, a creature. Like, they have more. They have. They have. They can do four attacks, but they have multiple tendrils. Around a corner? Yeah, uh, it's fifty foot. I mean, technically, it is the corner if you think about it. If it can see you, it can attack you, and it can't see you. It can or can't. It can. Remember, it is the wall, so it's not actually ba back five feet. It's. The wall. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a wall. This like, section. You hit the tendril. Yeah. Into the wall. I mean, I guess like this then. I... Yeah. I just thought I could only hold two people, so I wasn't expecting it to grab you both. I thought I was around a corner. So, well, corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fairness, I didn't think that. <laughs> So, 17 fire damage. Yeah. And as it does, it grabs you and it dies. The <laughs> whole thing disappears. Oh my god. Finally. And, oh, and saved. Like, oh. And the guy's like, oh, oh shit. Saved. <laughs> he, oh he my says, god. He says, and he's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. I he's think he his, should uh, surrender. Uh, Axis, what are you going to do? Oh god. Um okay. The guy is with the swords right there is like fuck. Oh shit. Well you don't understand what he's saying because he's saying in in uh in Elven. Unless you understand Elven. I don't think I do. Okay, um he's going, see, what do I want to do fuck, here? Fuck these giants, fuck the whole thing. I'm gonna fuck out of here. I'm gonna talk. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what is the distance on this spell. Sixty. Okay. Um. Mages are still vibing back there. Yeah, pretty much. Belloc will be free. Is free. Yeah, but I got to pick so... up my hand crossbows again. Yeah. Yeah. Problem is, we're in melee with this fucking dude, even if he's panicking. He does have melee weapons still, right? Yeah, he has two short swords. He's, that's what he's being at. That's what he uh, was attacking Alexander with. Yeah, um, okay. For my action, I'm going to uh, sleep him in melee. The, the dude in melee. So he yeah. makes a. A wisdom save. Okay. Okay, he's unconscious. Great. Okay, I move 15 feet here. Mm -hmm. uh, as a bonus action, I will cast Healing Word on Lael. Okay. Notably, the use of eye bite is not count, not does not count as casting another spell. I know. It's a pretty uh, powerful spell. Yeah. It's pretty strong. So Lael is at six HP. Mm -hmm. Oh, I breathe. Um. Then I go. You're alive. Welcome back. Fifteen. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this giant. Still, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I think I have it mad. So yeah, yeah I right. think it's gonna so focus on me for here. Just about. In case they decide to do shit. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. He guy's asleep. Uh, does he make a saving throw at the end of his... No. It's just a sleep spell. He, yeah, he's asleep. Uh, someone can wake him up or he can take damage. Uh, 
Let him stay asleep. Just grab your crossbows and shoot the mages. Yeah. Uh, Belloc, what are you going to do? Well, he's going to grab his crossbows. Yeah, I'll pick up my crossbows. Which I assume is my full action. And I'm not really incentivized to move anywhere right now. Could move. I'm assuming game. that they've been readying their actions to cast spells and move around that corner. Yeah, but also probably not a great idea to stand in a line still. I mean, they're all the way down there. Boom, fixed. Fixed. Leo. You wake up, You're awake. And, the and, you, and you see this giant in front of you with a grand sword that has blood in it from the multiple hits. That I'm, this, even though it's a giant sword, it's more like a giant mace. That's why it's bludgeoned kicks in you into the ground, right? Uh, I kidding. Okay. Uh, I from the ground, I will just kick it to death. How's that sound? Well, you could try. Certainly. Go ahead. Does the twenty-three go through at least? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, I do eight damage to it. That was not as cool as I was hoping. And then I guess I'll stand up after that. I think you stand up first and then do that. Yeah, well, in whatever the order of operations would be. Yeah. Yeah, the Drow Mage is going to go like this. And what is he going to do? I'm going to continue to cure wounds themselves. I really hope there's a finite amount of these guys. The Earth runs back and activates the cloning machine. Yeah. Yeah, he, he knows you can count it. So, yeah. Sure he's does. Number. Oh, yeah, he's going to look for for help. You see him shouting something at somebody, but you don't understand the language. Oh, doesn't have message, hey, Belloc, what did he say? Huh? Belloc, what did he say? He knows He's Elvish. not saying it in Undercommon or in... in oh, uh, in oh it's in Giant, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. That's... Whew. Bye, Giant. He's two enemies. It's me and you. Technically, Lale's still on the ground, not breathe, barely starting to breathe. No, him. I'm up. He I'm kicked up. Him. Uh, I kicked him. Yeah, so he's going to do the same thing he did before. Two great sword attacks. One on Lale and one on, uh, on kicks. Ah, Wait. that just mean. Is he picking up his sword first? He's got to pick up his sword first. He does he's have to pick up his sword first. You know what? He's going to take a rock and he's going to smash... Uh, <laughs> Uh, kicks with it. One still has to draw the, he has still has to draw the rock again. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right. He has a advantage because it's a range attack. Yep. Which hits. Oh my god. Still manages to hit, but yeah. Kicks takes the rock. <laughs> like, he has a bag of like, like. <laughs> So can we, uh, cause, like, attack of opportunity because he's doing a range attack in front of us? No, he just gets no. disadvantage. He has an advantage. Yeah. yeah. I'm just checking. He just rolled it exceptionally well. I know. Trust me, I get confused like all the time. Yeah, that yeah. used to be a rule in third edition, but no. Uh, and still, I didn't think in Pathfinder. Said that. They did that in fourth as well. <laughs> yeah. But nobody likes fourth, apparently. I liked it up to level 10. All right. Can we get uh, a fireball around this corner here? You became a god at, at level 10, so... And just like fill fill this whole hallway basically. Not really assume. because the enemies had huge uh, HP pools and a lot of abilities, so you know it it was pretty balanced. It's just that it became unmanageable as a GM, at least for me anyway. Hmm. I would like to cast Fireball um, in this. Uh, I I don't know the layout of the hallway here, but basically around the corner here. It has to be a point you can see. I mean, they have line line of sight. This is the, this point. I mean, on, on let me let me control L. Room. Let's 
Just to be. So a anywhere. We'll step out. Okay. Well, you have the priestess in, in melee right there. Well, not. Yeah, in ten feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a. Same plan. Fireball mm -hmm. into here and on the priestess. Because mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's where he ran. It doesn't seem like he ran down. So we're yeah we're, we're I'm assuming he's a few feet in here, which is in range. If I. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Uh, bonk. So that's okay. plus one. Why is it? That should be plus. To make slight adjustments. On you gotta take uh, both of them? What? You gotta attack both of them? If I can, yeah. Because I think he's in here. And it is still on range of her, barely. He didn't make um, it, but he has a bonus for his location. I guess it's let me two. fix the uh, damage values here. Should get five now. So it's 35. He has a 22. Yeah, he makes it for 17 fire damage. She took... Um, 31, right? 35. Yeah, I, the math is slightly wrong. 34. Yeah, it's 30, 30 plus 5, not plus 4. And so, yeah, but you do round it down when you're doing the half. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's rounded down. She has to make a saving throw again. Yep, DC 17. She made it. Wow. And Impressive. Steps up to protect that and wails at her with her I mean, whip. That's that's just the beginning. Okay, go ahead. There's still there's still a quicken spell to do. Mm -hmm. uh, in response, uh she's actually gonna step up to her <laughs> and uh green flame blade. Okay. You know, attempt to. So let me see that I. Yeah. So the not the second creature, just to her. None of those are ones. Okay. So twenty-two hit. Yes. Okay, so that's twenty-one fire damage. Mm, she dead. Okay. That's and acceptable. you hear, from here, you hear a, a roar, like the explosion happened, and then you yeah. hear in this good old language several voices. Uh-oh. You, you hear something, something happens, and you're wrong. Oh, shit, there's guys down there. Yep. Somewhere. Yes, they are. Oh, God, no. we need to not pull aggro. Too late. God. Yeah. Well, let me add them to the initiative. Oh. Yep. Axios, yeah. that was 15 Trolls. DKP minus. Yikes. We're, we're taking it off. Yeah, at 19, you see two trolls come running into the hole. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> and behind them, you hear like somebody like Moving and moving stuff, like pushing stuff away. Okay, that's not great. We're literally just doing like a room for room war of attrition at this rate, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, mafia style. The... We kill, we kill seventeen of them. They kill one of us. Uh, yeah. Uh, the 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 N six plague is dead, so that's the thing. Oh yeah, the uh, the bugs are gone. The bugs are gone. We are free to travel uh, through the hallway again. Hicks, what are you gonna do? Well, I feel like it's personal between me and this giant now, so I need to finish this. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Storm Fury number one. That's a hit. <laughs> that is twenty damage. 
Storm Fury number two, 13. Mm -hmm. And Storm Fury number three, which is going to be 15, and I'll make it a disarming. I mean, he, he has a bag of, of rocks, so he can just take another rock. So even, even if he drops that rock... Oh, okay, then. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought maybe he actually also re-equipped himself. I'll I'll keep the point. We'll take away. We won't count the three damage. Uh, so yeah. So that is twenty, thirteen, and fifteen. Uh, twenty. Mm. How how was the total? Sorry, yeah, I'm blanking on the total. Forty-eight. Thank yeah, you. He's dead. Hey, it worked. Let's fucking go. All right. The workers are dead. Alexander Send is help. dead. I Axius will... is no, still alive. Hallway. Oh, you, yes. you all heard this roar. Ah, at least people yeah. are in this area right here. So what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Open a room. Let's run in, please. That requires strength, which I do not have. Belloc. Um, here. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Grab the sleeping elf and let's use him as interrogation. And open. we'll open a room. I mean... If you are uh, now that this wall here, you can see this this area is open. So, and you uh, Bella can see. I think she can see something here. Let me see. Let me see what Bella can see. Unfortunately, uh, my browser is having a little problem right now where I can't. Yeah, you get only the see you see a window open, to focus. A, yeah, that's it. But so, what are you gonna do? Uh, do it uh, fast because uh, initiative exits. We're going. To, we're still in initiative combat. Exits. What yeah. are you doing? Uh, I move 30 feet. I can't see down there. Uh, I am going to hold uh, my action to use Eye Bite to sleep whatever comes around the corner. Okay. Belk. Like you said, my browser's having a little problem here. I can't get it to keep, stay in focus, so... Oddly, though, my uh, OBS, I can still see what's going on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> looks like everything's dead. Did anybody open a door or anything? Uh, no. not yet. We we should but though. I this think. hallway is open now. Yeah, the hallway yeah, that the the ropers are down. Is you said there's nothing yep. bad down there, or? Well, it's an open area. You can see an open area from your position, and that's where the priestess and the drow came out. But you know. yeah, then I guess maybe I'll grab sleeping drow guy and move down that hallway. Yeah, you see that there's a door open here. It's, it's like a secret door that got open, and they left it open, so. You've moved 30 feet. You are 10, 5 and a half feet. Five and... You're like 10 feet away from the door. Sounds good. Yeah. Would you like okay. to dash or anything? Well, I assume that dragging this guy is part of the action economy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Lay him. And you know that these roars, they're going to echo, so others might come as well. Oh, yeah, that. no, no, I'm well aware. Um, give me a second. I'll zoom out to do it. So that would be 85. That would be if I do the dash the extra movement so i will do that key to uh get the extra movement are you using your action for a thing i'm going to use an action to cast darkness ah over here to buy us time okay so like don't even yeah, bother fighting the over there so, oh, real quick, hold on. So, for the parameters of darkness, it's a 60-foot cast, I guess? Yeah, with a 15-foot radius. Yeah, 15-foot radius. Um, it is currently up there. I know Sevda's in there. Just shout for Sevda to follow your voice. Caroline Maneuver. I'm assuming we're all going in the secret room here right now. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. 
Does he have... He does not have... Oh, fixed it. The solution was minimizing Discord. <laughs> Which isn't great since, you know, it's the camera capture. Yeah. Discord just got real greedy on resources, I guess. Why? Why? I don't know. I minimized it and uh, brought it back up and everything's fine again. Fuck it, Discord. Yeah, the mage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna keep on looking for help, basically. He's not stupid. It's been all uh, those years in mage college for no reason. Except them. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, what can the trolls do? They do have big noses, but I don't think that gives them anything. Oh, it does. It actually does. Uh, Sevda. Uh-huh. What are you doing? What is she doing, anyway? Move her back first. Probably moving back and attacking with disadvantage because of the darkness. Uh, maybe making a spell slot. I mean, you don't see anything beyond the darkness, so you don't have you don't yeah. have line of sight. Yeah, fully like blind, cast at where she last saw them before the darkness was. Uh, so it is at like disadvantage, but you know, try. I would actually give them, if you're doing an area spell, I would give them advantage from the saving throw, basically. No, it's just a firebolt. A uh, firebolt? Because, okay. Yeah, because she can't see anything to place an area spell. Well, no, yeah, but she, okay. The problem is, well, actually, yes, yeah, she saw them come. Yeah, she, she saw she them come, come in, oh, then no. the darkness happened, and now she, yeah. Okay, she can attack one uh, person. So, yeah, just the first one, I guess, because it's in front, uh, with disadvantage. Still a hit. Okay, and then 5, 10. 15 points of fire? No, 5 points of fire then. Yeah, uh, no, it's 15. They're both fire. Yeah, you hear a roar of pain. Like... And then, yeah, 30 feet back. I'm still alive. I'm just quite badly burnt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. The trolls. The trolls are gonna try to smell you out. I can smell you. Smell. Make a perception check with advantage. One of them is well. Both of them are not hopeless. So they they're like like they're moving carefully because they're 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 dumb, but not that dumb. I told you so. Uh, Don't think anybody ever argued with you. You did. You did during Pathfinder. <laughs> Those are different trolls. Also, I didn't argue with you. I didn't argue with you then I'm either. Th I'm talking to Panda right now. No, uh, I don't know. Still, you, you, you hear that? You hear the sniffling of the like, like say sniffling the air like. I'm just playing around. Still objectively you know, low Kicks, uh, you go simultaneously with them. What are you doing? Right. I'm short of enemies. I see and hear that there's a plan. I'm just basically going to double move right now. I'm moving out here. Turn over. Yeah, you, yeah, you see the, 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 the door that's open. The ropers are dead. Alexander is dead. Mm -hmm. Axios. Are you going to leave the body behind? Well, there's no body, really. The darkness could see them. It's only his equipment. Yeah. Uh, and I he had like a sword and shield and armor and that was kind of it. So, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what am I gonna do here? I'm going. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start moving this way. And I'm gonna keep on the. Uh, to just sleep anything that comes towards us. Okay. Bella. Be, uh, over here. Are the uh, roper tatters still hanging from the wall? It disappeared. It was magical. Oh, bullshit. Um, I think I have a plan. 
Let me see. It's like a tapestry in the tapestry. I have a really dumb, five. dumb plan. I'm gonna cast darkness oh. in the hallway here, okay. so that the edge of the darkness is the wall. Okay. Is we like literally plan. just like cutting ourselves off completely now. No, because you can move in darkness. Yeah, but you're gonna have to at least make a wait waste of semi throwing navigation in order to know where the hell you're going. Well, I'm not moving. So <laughs> I'm just saying that for Lael's benefit, who is constantly casting darkness around himself anyway, so I don't know why this is a giant surprise. Lael. You see I darkness? Li I literally cast a darkness. Um, Alright. Moving through it. I'm assuming I can move through it to the other side without getting lost. Hopefully, yeah. And I'm gonna go inside this uh, hidden area. Mm -hmm. It's right over here somewhere, right? Yep. You should be able to see it, yeah. I cannot, because I can't uh, go It's through. a wall. Oh, okay, let me... Let me fix that. Yeah, to be honest, mm -hmm. I thought this was the room. So... Now everybody should be able to see it. Yeah. Okay. And I say to everybody, get in, get in while we can. The Drow Mage is still looking for allies somewhere. He's moving south. But you can't hear him anymore. Said the uh yeah just gonna follow the wall down mm -hmm. and then dash into this way yeah okay You hear some shouting like <laughs> some argument somewhere, you know. My super distant hope is that they walk down this hallway and they see this blackness across the wall and just think it's the roper. I mean they might. Would be very helpful. The trolls. Trolls go in and they they go full speed. They cross over here. They stop. Like, do I see you? Uh, yeah, you see them, and they see right. you because you're not hidden. Uh, hmm. sleep one of them. Which one? Uh, let's see. I guess the one that's closer. Okay. And then he can kind of be terrain for the other guy. Uh, so DC. I mean, he can step over the way you can step yeah. over dead bodies. Uh, DC yeah. seventeen wisdom save. I mean, technically, the dead bodies are supposed to be difficult terrain too. Yeah. yeah. But we haven't uh, been doing it that way, so it now doesn't really seem yeah. like the time to start. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Wisdom the, save. Wisdom save. Seventeen. He falls asleep. Sick. Is that the way sleep works now? Uh, no, it's how eye bite works. Eye bite, which is right. just the target falls unconscious. Yeah, no, I just keep hearing the word sleep, so I keep thinking of the start yeah. from the lowest hit points, and then. No, no, it's it's um, yeah. but it can also be kicked away like sleep. So mm -hmm. kicks. You're in the darkness. You're like what the. Make an intelligence yep. check to see if you know which way you're going, because you're not really even near a wall. You're like... I, I guess I will point out, I don't think the trolls had to make one. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I think a 19 might do. The, hey, that's, where they, they run, they, that's where they ran full on. Like, they just ran out. Like, yeah, they, they bonked the into and, the wall. Well, they bonked into the wall. They were like, uh. And that, that, right. that, that's where they can't attack either, because they just went like blindly like, uh. You know, okay. and that's why it's like one of them turn around and say, Whoa. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to move like... here. I'm going to hold mm -hmm. my action. I'm going to close the door once everyone's in. Okay. I mean, in Real fairness, great. if you ever seen anyone do those tests, the predilection towards walking mm -hmm. with your eyes closed, trying to go in a straight line is to drift to the left or right. Nobody yeah. goes 180 degrees the wrong direction. Yeah. Um, I sleep the other one and then navigate my way through the darkness. Okay. Uh, so that's another wisdom save. And then let's see. 
it he's okay. like uh but he now he now get it regenerates imagine you know he doesn't regenerate just yet then i try and just go forward enough through the darkness belloc gonna step back to the wall here and I'm just hold my actual action you left the the, the other guy sleeping in the back and like um, God I'll damn it! Now I guess I gotta use all of my action to drag him back. You're curious what I'll do? I'll drag him back over here in front of the door, leave him in front of the door, and then step back over to here so I can watch the darkness. Yeah. Okay. I can watch the darkness. Then the possible yep. sentence. But we're we're trying to close the door, so you're gonna. Be... So yeah, close the door. I'm gonna stay out here and make sure nothing comes through the darkness. You guys can close the door. I'm sure you'll hear me scream. Uh, okay. Lay him. I grab the sleeping drow and drag him in. Okay. And I'm going to have fun talking to him in a few minutes. You realize, well. as you see him, that he has, again, a sort of leather cord and has that triangle, metal triangle on his neck. I am well aware. Mm -hmm. Fun. Which could explain a couple of things. Um, uh, Drow Mage. Drow Mage is looking for allies. He's going to have a conversation with Lisi. Individual Sebda. Um, what's down this way? Um, is, is this like a thing? It looks like a, it leads to a small cell. Um, let me see if I can. This. To, so you can actually see it. Go that way to activate the flying towers underground engines. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you see a wall. You see a short, and instead of ends on a wall. Okay. So maybe another like access way to the hidden passage thing. Probably. Our hidden room. Um. I guess she's gonna she's gonna take her turn to like investigate the. The wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. See if there's like a. Yeah, if she's gonna take the turn, she's like. You know, looking like, yeah. um, and you hear you hear the. And he basically you hear like boom. <laughs> he basically kicked one of them awake, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and he looks around. Oh yeah, he can see. He can see one of the dead giants right here. Like he looks around the whole. Oh, I got some full simlish going on. Yeah. And he let me, let me let me give him some vision. Some vision. Axios, are you coming in? Oh yeah, he yeah he, he definitely I haven't sees. Had my turn yet. He actually sees what's going on. So yeah. Jesus is dead. The troll, the troll's awake. Like, uh, he kicks the other one awake. So the other hope is the smell of burnt uh, um, roper. I know the roper vanished and everything, but the smell of it burning might still be lingering in the air. Would also well, hide that... us. I'm gonna say because of the darkness, uh, they have. They have advantage, but the darkness gives them disadvantage, so they have just normal perception checks. Against what? I mean, what's the DC here? Um, what? Uh, let's say, well, it's blindness, so I, I would make a DC at least 20. Okay. Because it could be invisible, essentially. Wow. To be fair, he did make the DC before he ever rolled, so... Yeah. Yeah, they're like, and they're standing the over here. Point. You can hear them, like... Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't argue and... with just fucking good rolls. Yeah. Seems they're both standing... You, uh, you can hear them across the... The, the darkness? Like... Mm -hmm. rah, 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 rah. I can hear the, a deeper voice, like... Oh, oh, oh. But they're confused by the fact that they're seeing this darkness. Quick, we need someone who speaks Roper. Axios, what are you doing? Moving in, okay. Yep. 
Bad luck. Everybody's in. Yeah, so if I hold my entire turn, I could get my normal attacks on the first thing coming through that darkness, right? Okay. Well, yeah, but that's going to be it, basically. Yeah, I understand basically... that, but they're going to come through here anyway, so the least that could happen is by time, because I don't think the door is going to do much. All these giants with giant strength. I guess it's more the point the door is a secret door, and if it closes, they won't know. Yeah. Is it a secret? Because you like, or, found it immediately. Because it, it was, was open already. already. Someone else opened it. Yeah, it was left open. That's yeah, what nobody closed it behind it, yeah. I mean, I'm, so they came out of the secret clubhouse, and now the clubhouse is ours. I, I'm just saying, I'm kind of thinking that they probably know their own doors. It's up to you, because it's what it is. This isn't the I'm considering face. This is the I said what I've said face. Okay, so... I mean, uh, it is a Leo. slightly better choke point, I guess. Uh, Alright, Kix, you're going to close the door? Because you guys are going to have to find a way out either way. So, just imagine you're under crunch. Uh, if... Belloc is not going to come, then I think I will probably close the door, yes. Alright, I'm gonna strip this drow of everything that he has, so he has no weapons or armor. Mm -hmm. I'm you assume... find that he has about 10 PP, uh, platinum uh, pieces. I take that. And, and two vials of what look like a thick, yellowish uh, uh, I, uh, something or other. Two vials of yellow goo. Yeah. Well, I'll make you doing that. Set that. What are you doing? Find anything out about the wall thing? Uh, what was her um, investigation? An 11. Mm -hmm. You suspect there's something there, but you really. It's not more than that uh, there's a secret. She can't really find the way to open it. It's like. Okay, there has to be something here, but... Okay. Can't really By the way, are you rolling with disadvantage for some reason? Yeah, I still had it toggled from before. Uh, okay, well... Yeah, she's just gonna keep trying to find out, like, how to open the damn thing. Yeah, the you hear the, the stumping of the giant past the darkness? Brother, how could they? In giant. Essentially, yeah, because. <laughs> and more screaming and more shouting. They're, they, I think they're amazed that we were able to kill two of them. Yeah, Lil, we ever do two giants together before? We we fought like three of them at once last time and still killed one. Maybe if not for the fact that we've already seen that they've detected us with their twenty perceptions, <laughs> it would also make the case. Hey, Alexander's dead there. Maybe they're just smelling Alexander's body. And and, and you can see the back and forth. Like the 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 deeper voice says something that went down the hall, and the trolls are like, <laughs> you know, like they they're trying to have this com confused conversation, but we have no idea what they're saying. Okay. Again, the the trolls and the kicks. Are you, what are you gonna do? Because uh, you, uh, you 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 hear it very muffled. The only person who can hear it clearly is uh, is Belloc, but you kind of hear it very muffled. Uh, uh, these are uh, these are stone doors, right? Decided to you know fit in the back of this this area. So yeah, you can hear it very muffled. But they seem to be having some kind of conversation or shouting match. What are you gonna do? Stay very quiet and keep the door closed. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lopez Alexander Axius. I'm just going to go help. Okay. Oh, you can roll initiation with advantage because she's already doing it. So. Uh, sure, sure, sure. I'll do that then. Mm -hmm. 
That's yeah, better. You kind of you find a kind of very subtle like in the corner, what should be like just the, the regular rock. It seems to be a small button, like a, a protruding you know mm-hmm. indentation, of, and it opens uh, to the okay. back of. Let me. Uh, da, da, da. Opens into the giant sleeping chambers. Yeah. Basically, you're looking at the back of a cell. You see that these doors are metal, but they are actually uh, have a, a little window on top that can be slit. So, like a you know, like a like a jail cell. Like a jail cell, yeah. Okay, and we know that the this went this way, so this is in this hallway. This is even more questions. No kidding. Yeah. This is the trap. Uh, this is the secret passage out of the jail cell, and these are the drow that were in this secret room connected to the jail cell. Wouldn't these also have been my friends? What the? <laughs> Why is the drow all attacking me? There's a reason you broke up your friendship with them. They just don't make any sense. <laughs> Remember that you're you were try you were there to investigate this cult. That was separating. That was anti loth So yeah, right. But assumingly, anybody that's in that cell that's using this passage. And... The only other explanation, I guess, for this room is that this is the sadist room that likes to sneak into the cell and <laughs> torture prisoners. I guess I don't know. Okay, that isn't really an out though. How high is the ceiling in the room we're in currently? About thirty feet. About thirty feet. Okay. Yeah, I remember. In the jail cell, it's about here. it's about twelve. It gets lower in the in the jail cell. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking is like any zombie movie I've ever seen. I lure them all into this room. So that you guys escape from the back room. Uh, go to Belloc, I guess, because you know that's my action and everything. Okay, Belloc, think... we're gonna do. You hear this conversation in the other side of the thing, like the low, the the higher pitch voices, which you suspect are the trolls that you were told about uh, or shouted about, uh, are are confused. They're like, <laughs> and and they, you can do an insight on the voices. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a movie. This is the sweaty, shaky, watching the darkness moment. Yeah. There's fear in those voices. <laughs> They're afraid. They're afraid of something. So supposedly that they, they know about that wall and how it can, you know, kill things. Yeah, this is the and end of like, Starship Troop yeah. presenting. Yeah, they, they, they don't... They, it's yeah, afraid! They don't want... Uh... But you don't know how long that's going to last, you know. Because I'm here by time. uh, I'm just continuing to hold. I will, um... Alright, I rip off a piece of my pants or whatever. I'm I'm just gagging this drow to make sure he doesn't scream, and I'm also going to tie him up, and that's my turn. Okay. I honestly think we're actually safe in this room because I don't think they know that this room is here. These giants. Because why the hell would they have that in their jail cell? Um, so, yeah, except that. What is it except they're going to do now that he sees? So you said the sees. door has a window? Yeah, small window. Like the ones you check in on jail, so like to look into. Again, they're all yeah. made of metal, but you know. Can they like take a peek out into this hallway at all, or is it uh not good enough for that? I mean, go ahead. The door is supposed to be open. the little door opens from the outside, so you know it's uh. Yeah. I mean, if you could have some to kill some, like maybe you can try to rake it open, but you know. Is there uh, anyone in this hallway that is visible? Well, it the the well, 
It's close right now. You have to rig it open. Okay. There's just one obvious motherfucker. It's glowing in the dark. <laughs> no, I think that already ended. I don't know. Yeah, one minute. You, you, also because minute. you set up that right. you well, have another concentration spell, which is the darkness, sure. and you can't have both. Yeah. It was a I joke was just anyway. Hide in this room. I don't know. Fire giant. And you're stomping something like that, and he's gonna. Where is he gonna go? He's gonna look for reinforcements too. Where can he go that he can trust? Ah, there he is. You hear his footsteps, you know, in the distance. Trolls still arguing. Kick. Ah, uh, Chewbacca. Doors close. I'm hidden. Uh, on a pass, Lil, one of my potions. Here, drink this. It's 2d4 plus 2. I have to, do I have to do it now or on my turn? Well, okay. Once <laughs> the darkness falls, the, the trolls are going to realize that this is, you know... You know, it's it's a trick. They're, I mean, they're dumb, but not that dumb. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, whoever happens to be there is going to have to fight the trolls. Right. Out yeah, I life, think we all understand what the situation out. is. Yeah, I pass a little potion. That's it. Okay. So we're still in initiative. I think the, like, yeah, those I... two people that were there can be deleted from the initiative order. I don't think Alexander's taking any more turns. It was 2d6, you said? 2d4. 2d4? 2d4 plus 2. Oh, I rolled the wrong thing then. It's actually slightly better. So, 8. Uh... Uh, to be the DM have and functions. having a great a great idea, but can't share. Yeah, also, I think you drink that on your turn. I did ask that, and nobody said anything. Well, because he so. passed it to you, which was his action. You actually have to drink it, unless, unless I guess uh, Kix was feeding it to you. So, are we just leaving him out there for real? For real? Or... He chose to stay out there. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure he has some sort of plan. If there's anyone who's going to trick a bunch of drow a second or third time, probably him. I guess. Right now he's buying us time that we need, and we can reorganize and regroup, or maybe find some other plan. I honestly think we're safe in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill. Or at least safe for now. And we really need to think about what the next thing is. And I think our key is this asshole. And I point to the gag naked drow in front of us right now. He's the third me, person we've stripped me, naked today. See. They're going to make an intelligent... Uh, yeah, they're going to make a wisdom check. Yeah, I know. They're walking away. It's the Star Wars holiday special all over again. Yep. Yeah, they're walking away. Can you you want to come in now, Bill Lock? You know, it's you probably it's against door. purposes if you start asking me questions through the door. Yeah, no, it, it, you, you can't actually hear you through the door. You would have to open the door and go like, "Hey." I know. So, okay. Uh, we're we moving the turns right yet. now, but... Uh... Yeah, the dude unfalls asleep. He's bound and gagged. He's, he's bound, gagged, and has basically been stripped of all equipment, so... <laughs> and I actually, I go up to him, and I, I look try to look as intimidating as possible. I say, stop struggling for a moment, please. He stops struggling. And uh, I looked to Kix. I said, do you want to ask him anything before we take care of him? 
Uh, kicks it across his arms and thinks and goes. Uh, does he understand common? He doesn't seem to understand common. He's like, mm -hmm. I I might be out of questions to be able to ask him, at least myself, but. I guess we'd want to know how many of them there are here. How many of those giants as well? Probably would be fair to ask him what this place here is, this particular room, because honestly, I have a lot of questions about that too, but I don't think they're yeah, ever going to get answered. It's did definitely it? confusing, yeah. Yeah, did anybody actually check the room? We, we've been in fight or flight mode for a minute, so not yet, I think. So you've been in it for 12 seconds. Is there anything in this room? Let me see if there's anything. I, no, I don't think there's much in the room here. Let me see. Or or in uh, the cell. There's a smoldering copper brazier near the door. Gives of incense to one side around. There's a treasure. There's a jasper basing. And yours. This seems to be like a smaller uh, shrine. Um, in fact, as you look around, you realize that it's way weird. You thought it was just, you know, just darkness, right? It's just the darkness of the light. But in fact, it seems like the the wall to the south seems to be smeared with a sort of like a giant uh, black paint, but it makes a uh, makes it like a, a, a cloud or something, and you see that in the at the edge it seems to be like tendrils that seem to be coming out. Careful, that's Fanta Black. It's it's toxic. Don't lick it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, and this <laughs> seems to be two point oh. There seems to be uh, a, a, a two Jasper basins and ewers. Are, uh, Jasper basins and ewers. There's a coffer. Uh, there's two coffers as well. So definitely like a shrine. A small shrine, yeah. Hmm. And there seems to be a, a pile of uh, ceremonial clothes for the priestess that you killed. Uh, and yeah. This this was like, their this looks like a preparation room for them then. I guess the connected cell makes more sense if they intended like haul some sort of sacrifice out here. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's uh, probably about half a mystery solved. Yeah, and the darkness goes away because it'll last a minute. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, Bella, what are you going to do? Darkness. You know that anybody who comes through there is actually going to see what you're, what, that you're standing there or sitting there. Let's move around the corner. Yeah, hide. yeah, hides around the corner. There you go. Well, roll a stealth check. Where's my sheet? Oh, there it is. That's a pretty good stealth check. Nice. This guy's moving over here. Do these guys are holding guard here? Did they move Wraith body? Uh, well, there's no body. There's just. The, the weapons and armor and all that, that's what is left. Nobody has moved that. How did Wraith die? Uh, I think I got wall the, consumption. The wall. Yeah, he basically got. Yeah. Okay, I was like to say, how did he die? Or everything in the armor is gone, just the armor. Yeah. That is like I, I, oh, movie. We levels. got some first edition shenanigans going on, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. he, his body got absorbed into the darkness, basically. That's uh, what Evil did. What was that movie? The Adventures? Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't remember. You know where the dwarves steal God's map to the universe? Yeah, Time Bandits? Time Bandits. Couldn't Time remember bandits, the name of it. Yeah. Your evil hits you and your clothes just drop to the ground and you poof. Oh, Time Bandits was a fucked up movie now that I that think was about it. It was a great movie. Yeah, it was, yeah. You find yourselves on a boat, but it's actually a giant's hat. <laughs> So, okay, what are you guys doing? You, you you know, you. this place seems like a small shrine 
where the you know the the priestess was doing some proper preparations and you see this smear in the wall you have no idea what it is uh and you also see another symbol like in top of the clothes there's another symbol that triangle as well so clearly she's not a worshiper of loaves no she was a drow priestess she was not a worshiper of loaves hmm, the symbol i've seen it before and again uh did he actually answer kix's questions at all or no no he just he's like you know he stopped struggling well you, you did you speak in elvish or did you speak in yeah this this was i was asking you because you asked me what questions you wanted to ask him yeah so you need to ask mm -hmm. those i'll ask if you want me to go for it so i guess i'll speak to him just in straight up elvish so what's the de okay so what's the deal with the room here and your organization with these giants and I do uh, that as I grip the the necklace um, that he was wearing in my in my uh, good hand because I have the robot hand on him right now. Uh, okay, um, he says uh, in Elvish and in accented Elvish, of course. I, uh, I am a mercenary. I have been hired by these cultists to serve as their personal guard. Somebody sense motive on that, please. What? I, I'm not the person to do that, so. Well, the only one who understands him is you. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, what would it be then? Insight? Insight, yeah. 20. What a weird twist this is. Robert is confused about an inside check. Because <laughs> he's uh, not built yeah. for insight. Uh, yeah, he seems to be telling the truth. Or at least the way he believes it. Then why are you wearing this? It's part of the uniform. It's how we got through the crappy magical door thing. And I, I look at the uh, the stone wall. I say that door. Well, yeah, the one that you have to come through to get here. Yeah, one that eats people with things. Oh, that yeah. door. Yeah, that door. Well, that answers one of my questions anyway. All right, you guys just hear like this conversation in Elven, I guess, for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then, then I then I say, "Don't say anything for a moment," and uh, I tell Kix in common. So apparently, he's been hired by the uh... oh, fuck. I just I actually forgot what he said. Fuck, he's hired by Drow as a mercenary, and they're wearing this as part of their uniform, apparently. Not even a coalition. They've just hired out. So they've just hired you. So I'm so I'm going to turn back and speak to him. How many of you are there, and what's the relation with the giants? Uh, I know that these cultists have made some alliance, allegiance, or alliance with the giants. I just, I'm just a swordsman, or I was anyway. Mm. And, and then I, I they don't tell me much because. This could happen. Well, then I say to uh, this... Um, I say to the drow, then... Uh, <clears throat> then who's still in charge of your group, then? Well, was, my immediate group was a priestess, but... Yeah, she's not here anymore. There's more than just the priestess, right? Sure there is, but like I said, I'd be stuck down here for a while. Or, I should say, up here. The cultists brought the trolls, too? Ah, oh, those are the giants. The giants whipped them into shape. I relay that all back to Kix. Hum. So, training regimen. All right. Mm. Does anybody have any other questions you want to ask before I think about what I want to do to him? Probably. Well, start giving me stuff to ask him. Mm. 
In fact, I actually will say to Manelvin, do you understand common? Under common, yeah. I don't <laughs> live in the surface. Or would I learn filthy languages from the third surface? I go back uh, and I say to uh, comment to everybody else. Anybody have anything that he that you want to to want me to ask him before I maybe uh, break his neck? I suppose now's the time. What to break his neck? Snap. Yes, snap. <laughs> no. We don't have many other options, and we're in a very dangerous position right now for holding prisoners. I mean, he he apparently has no loyalty to anybody here, though, so in my head, the gears are turning. But I mean, char not character, he, character not, wise, Lael wants him dead. Not so. to mince words or turn a phrase, you are literally Anne Franking right now, so. What does that even you mean? Want to, How many... You want to be very quiet because anything can give you away. Oh, um, yes. Uh, no, we're whispering all this, I presume. Right, right. right. I just mean that he can start kicking stuff. He can start hollering. And well, he he's he's already uh, tied up. Now, the next step is if he actually tries to, I'm just going to cover his mouth as quickly as possible. How much did they pay him? I mean, he was paid him in platinum pieces. He had four of those. You said he had ten. Yeah, ten of them, actually. We yeah. conveniently have ten platinum pieces all of a sudden. Would you like a new payment <laughs> plan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too, but... Um, okay. And just for the record, ten platinum pieces is a hundred gold, right? Yes. Yeah. How many you other... Uh... Yeah. I mean, you gotta imagine, he's in a... Oh, strange position anyway. What other, like, important figures does he know of that are here? Like, there is... Was the priestess. There was the mage. Is there any other, like... Specific in-power people? He was he with the, of? the... impression I'm getting is he was with the priestess, but he wasn't... He's not sure of who else is here with the cult. Mm-hmm. But I honestly think he might know who else who is in charge. All right, who's in charge of the cult? Can you tell me that at least? Uh, I wish I could tell you, but <laughs> uh, I do have an idea. If you let me go, because I, I I won't survive with the giants here by myself. But I know how to get the hell out of here. At least I think I do. You really think? I should let you go. If I help you. Isn't that what you courageous people from the surface do? To keep your word and all that? Before you uh, go murdering on this guy. Yeah, let's Robert, be real. No, we, I do, we are actively working with another drow with the same thing. I, no, I just want to... From or, my, my, I from want our, a perspective yeah. of this. If you want to understand his position, what I'm thinking it is, is that he's turned his back on Loth, so he's already got nowhere to turn if he turns on these people he's with, because, I mean, I think that says enough right there. So you can put yourself in that mindset and try to figure out what his, what he has to gain from anything right now. He basically does not have very many outs. Well, because if he right. escapes on his own, where does he have to go? He turns back on Lulth, he's a drow in the Underdark. I think only place he has to go is back to these people. I don't think he can reliably think he can escape and survive. Which kind of puts a twist on trusting him in any way. More so than I think he's going to kill us anyway. Twist. What do you know about this symbol? Other than that, it passes through gates. What all the cultists believe in. I haven't heard much. The priestess was very secretive. As is this where the pre are. is this where the priestess was secluded from? Yeah, pretty much. Did the giants know about this little location here? 
they don't like to cross the they don't have the ability to cross the wall well at least they didn't anyway well with the wall gone what about now well i guess they can stick the room but i don't know why they would unless they're looking for something i ask him what his angle is to get out uh, before like, I before I do that, I say to everybody else, start searching the room. This was the priestess's headquarters. We can find information here, probably. Uh, I guess Kix will busy himself doing a bit of an investigation, then. And then I will ask him, okay, so what would you do to get out of here, then? He basically explains uh, what Belloc did, right? He was going to go through that exit. He knows about that exit, because that's how they came in. And from there, uh, you know, he'll take his chances. What's your name? What's his name? I don't know, I'm asking you. <laughs> that my cost. I am writing this all down, by the way, just in case. Okay. What would the fire giants and trolls do with him? Uh. Assuming he went back to them. You ask him that? Yeah, I'll ask said, him that. He said probably kill me, because they only listen to the mage and the priestess. Figured as much. Looks like I mean, don't the, have... the, the, the giants don't like the drow, you know. Whoever is organizing this, and I don't know, you know, somehow managed to convince them, so. Set this insanity together. So you were hired on, and they don't. So they don't worship Loth, is that correct? Does it look like they're worshiping the Spider Queen here? No, it doesn't. So then, why did you take this job? Because isn't that an uh, affront? Because I'm a male in a matriarchy in which the Spider Queen uh, priestess can flare you alive at any moment when they choose, or feed so you, you to demons. Or enslave you, or exploit you, and take your children away. Yeah, no. Uh, I know. I don't know why I would leave. Quick, beat him to death right now. <laughs> the tender mercies. Of He's talking the too much. Queen. Beat him to death. I. Uh... He's making too much sense. We don't, we don't cotton to that kind around here. <laughs> I actually, uh, and he can feel this slightly, like my uh, the rope, like the robot hand or whatever. I keep calling it a robot hand. But the hands on him, like I tightened the grip on his uh, shoulder a little bit, and I'm sure it's hurting a little bit because I'm kind of frustrated. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, he's like, I mean, if you're gonna torture me, they nothing. Have a couple, they have a couple of scour scourges over there that might work. Nothing would make me feel so much better if I could. He's a male drow. He's been tortured his whole life. <laughs> True. You have no idea. Nothing would make me feel better right now. But fact, of, but fact of the matter is, you need us, and we need you a little bit here. Only a little, though. I can work with that. Ooh, a plan. I was going to say, it feels like the only move out of that is, if you torture me, it's not going to be quiet. Kix, you want to hire, Dem hire our friend Damacost here? Oh, With what's his, the going uh, price? We have about 10 platinum these days. <laughs> what's the most expensive item in the room? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Give give us a... give, us, uh, give Somebody get the list out. We I, got a, I got a 24 on my investigation. Just search it around while he's busy talking. What, yeah, there's, the a couple, there's a couple of chests which you haven't opened. Um, hmm. In the room before that, there was a smoldering copepris here near the floor uh, with incense... Uh, there's two, like I say, Jasper basins, uh, and you worse. Each one worth about over 150 gold pieces each. Um, and there's a coffer that hasn't been opened yet. Um, mm -hmm. and in the inner chamber, there's other two coffers as well. And the clothing that the, the ceremonial garments seem to be, uh, um, has, uh, has jewels on them, right? Gems as top topuses. And black opals. There's and a lot of good stuff in here. If 
Yeah. If we just give him one of those like jade bowls that's worth 150 right there, that's a pretty good starting price. We could even put his 10 platinum back into the bowl as well. His um escape route that also Belloc knows. Yes. Does he know if there's like um a good way to get there without fighting people? Or What's the easiest way to get to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that's the easiest resistance. way. Yeah. Basically, it's the same path you took. He describes a very similar path. So we have to go this way again, basically. If you're going down and trying to escape to the Elder Dot. If we're trying to get to the... No, no, we're trying to go the opposite yeah. way, I assume, yeah? I haven't been there up there. Like I said, I'm a mercenary. You know, I follow orders and nobody's ordered me up there. Up there? We're just trying to pass through this whole fucking place. Well, There's the only third... way to, the only way to go up... Yeah, you have to go through there. I know I know. there's a couple of Eddins that guard that door, but I've never been up there. Eddins, huh? Yeah. Who's, listen, uh, 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 you, you tell him about hiring him. He's like, listen, I don't. I mean, the money's good, but right, that won't solve any problems in the underdark. Um, but I can tell you somebody who might help you. A big somebody. And who is that it, exactly? Uh, some kind of the some gigantic prisoner that they have. Wait, they prisoned one of their own. I don't know if it's one. He's big. I don't know if it's one of their own. Where is he? Uh, where Where is he? And can you show us where he is? I can show you. If you can keep me from not getting stepped on by the giants. I think we can we handle can that. We should probably at least take a breather now that we know they're not at our backs. Yeah, yeah. a short rest. You do uh, know that if you, from time to time you hear... You know, people passing and and uh, Belakos, you knew somebody sort of they look down this hall, maybe a couple of trolls coming in. You know, they're looking around. I keep getting confused every time you realize you're talking to me. Belakos, yeah. I don't know who that is. Belak, Belak. Uh, but you have a 25, so even with, you know, you, you like, you hug the wall in the darkness and they're like, mm. but even, even if they score like a 20, they, they wouldn't be able to to find you but they get pretty close <laughs> you know like they say something like <laughs> and you can hear a lot of activity so so they're alert they know that they're being attacked uh so you know it might take hours maybe you yeah. can see just like this before so it might take hours or anything to calm down I think all the dead bodies give that away yeah but so I far have... yeah I ask him, yeah. is there anybody else that's imprisoned around here that we should know about? Well, I only know about that giant. They also have, like, their null slaves and the like, but I wouldn't trust those demon those demon worshippers. Mm, I'll blame you on that one. Looks like we're staying in here for a little while, and then we'll have to make a move. How's that sound? Yep, that's I think that's fine. the plan. I think we all need a bit to recover. Let's let's do the short rest game. Yeah. Okay. I've I've I'm holding on to the triangle <clears throat> thing, mm -hmm. but I will give Delacost his pants and sh his uh, basic clothing back. He puts it on. And everyone Carefully, gets an extra slowly. <laughs> you know, he's keeping an eye on, especially on you, right? Uh, oh, I'm. You don't know how I, I will control I'm trying right now. <laughs> yeah, Kix is just like literally like doing like eyes from side to the room. It's like you're really not going to do it while he's putting his pants on, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I I will defend this man's honor at the very least. Uh, but let's get them hit dice. Don't forget your extra D8. Oh, yeah, it went up to a D8 now, huh? Oh, wow, yeah, our old... <laughs> Let's do one, two... Four. I'm assuming that I can't actually short rest, that I'm active. No, if you, 
if you're actively hiding, then yeah, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that I am active the entire time. I'm active, I'm paying attention, I'm listening, I'm hiding. You could probably slip into the room if you wanted. No, I'm out here for a reason. Okay. Otherwise, you have no idea what's going on outside. Okay. Well... It is absolutely worth rolling every single one of the hit die I still had. I have seven left. I guess I should do more because I'm only at 72 out of 93. Yeah, just don't forget your free dice. I did that already. Great. How many free dice do we get? Just one? Just one. I already did that and it was a one. Well, can't win them all. All right, that's two more. I think that's fine. Hey, Alexander, give us the song of healing. Uh-oh. Well, you didn't have a song of healing anyway, so... That was prayer, prayer of healing. Double healing insulting. Healing. Yeah. It's... You know... <laughs> I it, forgot it's... what his job was. I forgot what Alexander <laughs> even did around here. It, it's fu it's funny. Uh, if there was... if you just didn't have Lail... any speaking roles recently. If Lail did die, I was going to make myself another cleric, but it was going to be like a different type of cleric, so... Clerics are fun. Okay, well... I don't really like doing clerics that often, but it was pretty good when I was Braith, so... We could have called him Jaith. No, I had a better name for him. It was like, uh... Braith the second. <laughs> no. As long as I'm alive, we have outs. Well, you can bring you. one person with you, right? Yeah. And I can also, uh... Revive people at a heavy cost. So, Delacost has no weapons, right? He still has his swords that you took away. All right, I will but give you him have back them, so you can just give him back. I will give him back his weapons and armor. Just to check, what's the revive spell you have? And uh, I will just say, dead. and I will just say, please don't make me regret. Sorry, did you this. say raise dead? Yep. You have raise dead. What the fuck? Mystical Secrets is wild when you pick Wizard. I mean, you could race dead. Oh, right. But it, uh, it still costs 500 gold, you know, and 10 days to... That's what I thought. I was like 500 days. gold thing. Yeah. Oh, not been dead longer than 10 days. There we go. Yeah. And then they uh, also have to have a spirit that's willing and able, and then also have a body that still exists. So that so we can't... Right, the body not existing is kind of the critical and... aspect here. Yeah. And then they still have penalties uh, for a while. Yeah. And but just think, I mean, is... if you have raised that, I would allow you to use it on um, on Alexander. You would. Okay. I mean, and there's, literally there's right plenty there. Of, yeah, there's plenty of money okay. in this. Literally in this area, there's plenty of money. I mean, yeah, they. Have, I assume they might just have a diamond here worth uh, that much. Um, right, there's one in the room with you. If you raise Alexander, can he come back as Braith, or is that not a thing? Oh, it's his soul. Yeah. I mean, he can come back as Wraith. He can come back as Wraith at one hit point with uh, minus four to a bunch of shit. He would kind of be useless then in combat, I would presume. Well, I mean, he would but give he everyone would a alive. plus three to their saving throws. Yeah. He would be alive, and then he can heal himself uh, with Lay on Hands. Mm-hmm. Oh, the worst idea. Look, I'll look, I'm I'm but fine it, doing it if you if it's allowed. We would have to do it. do it over the course of the short rest. We could just take another hour. Well, I mean, I'm yeah, active, yeah. and if you're willing to like whisper through a doorway, I could. Since I'm already active and doing shit, oh, hundred percent. Try, try yeah. and grab him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like peek open the door, and go. Hey, you still okay, Belloc? We would just get 500 gold less treasure from this room. I don't think we care yeah. about treasure and anymore. Yeah, do we, we actually... Um, well, I know we don't care about treasure, but do we actually take inventory of what we can use here or no? Uh, we, we, we sort of... We got the description, but not like, it, like the details. You, ha you, ha well. you haven't opened the chest yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's also a chest worth of stuff here. Well, you, want me to, coffers, you want me there's to go three for three Alexander's one, body one first? One here... Yeah, and yeah Alec, do Alex first. So I'm assuming yeah. you're going to want me to make another stealth check, right? No. He can, he can just do it? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, 
it's a, it's a short it's a short you know it's like I mean, yeah. if you were going... My only concern was that I knew yeah. that there was the trolls at the end of the hallway, so... Yeah. yeah. So it's literally reaching out and grabbing a body without the trolls noticing. Yeah. Okay. Alexander uh, can't enter. <laughs> he can't get through the wall. <laughs> I do appreciate that you put a vision... I assume a vision blocking layer. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't delete it because you might need it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess there is not a vision blocking layer since I can see inside. Unless I'm seeing well, through I, some I, ways. I, I, I moved it. I, I moved it right now. So. Well, no, no. I mean, I can still see inside, but I think I'm seeing through Alexander's. Okay, so we burn... Uh... You know, the stuff in here. Pretty hard. This takes an hour. It's mm -hmm. a whole process. Mm -hmm. But it is a way. Kind of. You just got this, right? Yeah, pretty. Oh, well, I got it. Um, Eleventh level. Tenth. I think tenth is missing. So you secret. had it when Tavian died. Yeah, but then we didn't have his body anymore because it got eaten, which was a small issue. I think you actually crossed paths with his body. I think more the point the body you know, was. It was eaten by slimes. When we there started the shell. when we started the session, the map we were on, Tavia's body was right in front of you. The other issue is that his soul is not free. I know, I know, I'm, re I'm remembering that, Which but I'm still looking for a reason to be that angry. I looked into. <laughs> I, I did specifically ask about that. I think. Yeah, that was the point. That yeah, no, did. Orcus has my soul. Yeah. Otherwise, I probably would have. Well, all we have to do, obviously, is go storm hell and kill Orcus. And My problem we'll is, is that I didn't make a Constantine level uh, deal where I made a deal with one side and the other so that they would have yeah. to fight each other for my soul. I only made a deal with mm. one side. Rip. <laughs> Either way. Um, so if he gets revived, what's the negative penalties done? Uh, he gets a minus four to all attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Fuck. Uh, and that's reduced by one every take every time he takes a long rest. But okay. he can heal himself, and he is alive. And he still gets the plus three aura, so. Um, and also, I cannot revive anyone else until a long rest. So don't die. Yeah. Yep. Which is like the don't general die advice. and don't get rescued for a week, you know. Because <laughs> that was so. my uh, my only fifth level remaining. So Alexander, after going through the existential dread of being eaten alive, is now awake and alive. Eaten alive, and then going to heaven, and then being... And choos then... Choosing to come and, back. And then the no, gods no, are no, like... This, 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 this Alexander was walking to, to, his, to, to the seven heavens, like... And here's a... Hey, what? Hey, buddy! <laughs> come back! Hey, no, it's like... But, but I was going to the... Come here! Oh. Come here! No, uh, oh, no, I got, I got oh, one right. better. I, I got one better. It's even more poetic because it ties into old backstory. <laughs> Alexander sees the angel of Braith, and the angel of Braith says, you, "It's not time yet. You can still help them. Do it." So he goes back. You know, as the as the one who wrote his backstory, I don't think this is the first time he's died either. No, I don't think it is. You remember, he's horribly disfigured underneath all the armor because he's been in a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Alexander just has such a happy life. Really. He actually does. Remember, he has a wife and children back in Greyhawk, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so now he's back. He can heal himself, I assume? Yes. Yeah. He still has all of his abilities and everything. Alright, I'm gonna lay on hands f uh, 45 on myself, just to Fair enough. help it a little bit. It's at 55 now, so I'm keeping 10 just in case. Well, he has whatever he died with, so assuming that he takes another, y'all take another short rest, so that he can then get his stuff back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Lay on we hands spend, like, is short I mean, rest or long. We gotta spend like three hours, anyways. Well, lay on hands is so. that short rest or long rest? Uh, long rest. So, long rest, yeah. so he doesn't have anything until he takes a long rest. Oh. Did he not have any before? No, no he I. He didn't heal anybody because no. he didn't have anything. Y'all didn't. Well, no, I didn't heal anything because it, I didn't use it. That's why. Why is Lay on Hands duplicated three times? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just assuming it's at 55 for whatever reason. I'm going to look it real quick. So I don't remember us taking any breaks from... Oh, wait, no, you 
did. God, it's, this place no, has been a slog. Should, I, I can't remember. <laughs> I know it's been kind of. I'll be honest; it's been kind of difficult for me too to well, remember. Because I think y'all took a break when I met you all as Belloc, and that might have yeah, been the last that break. Was a long, took a long that was a long rest. rest. Yeah, that was a long yeah, rest. Yeah. So then he'd have that stuff back. I just yeah. assumed that he would have been healing people in the combat where he died. No, he didn't. He was, was kind of <laughs> dealing with the fucking roper because I was the only yeah, one. Yeah, so was I, but he had it. the ability to touch himself every time, too. So, yeah, he should be on 55. Yeah, so he heals for 46 right now, and we'll do the long rest. Remember, you also have healing hands. True. Which is um, 11. I was hoping to save that, but I guess it doesn't matter. You know, healing hands is the one you don't need to save because you can't separate out the hit points like you can with lay on hands. Yeah, but it might be good for like if someone goes down, just action heal them. Again, that's lay on hands because lay on hands yeah, is just but... one point, one point, one point. That's eleven points all the time. But it is an additional heal. Oh, it's up to you. It's the same action economy, though. So what I'm saying is it's lay on hands, but it's less... Um, I don't know what the word is. Versatile. Use. Yeah, modular. I think I'm thinking of... Chaotic yeah, we spent, like, evil... Three hours, you know? Chaotic evil paladin just keeps taking you back to life with one hit point so they can keep torturing you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of brilliant, but also fucked up. Yep. It's the uh, Ultima on... Not Ultima Online. What was it? Uh, Black Knight from Ultima 3? I can't remember which Ultima he was in. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. Uh, Axios Alexander is back. <laughs> Worse for wear, but he's back. It's like... And, and that was that also sort of like... Uh, I can show you where the the guy is, and uh, we can go from there. I think well, that's I, I think holy, that's holy magic fair. I've ever done. So now, let's go ahead and now I, I I need someone who doesn't make a lot of noise because that would be probably her giant <laughs> on, on alert. I I have you covered, and I will cast pass without trace. He's gonna do his nice. uh, dicks. Yeah, he's gonna do his. And I guess Lael, you'll go with him. I have no choice. Um, and I guess quick bit of business. You did mention that there were three coffers. We've been here for two hours. Let's open them up. Three hours, okay. I think. I am honestly surprised you didn't open them yet. So, hey, you the know, we, we just haven't had the time. <laughs> the first coffer. Uh, are you just gonna open them up? I I've, I've been investigating the room. I probably we we have a couple dead drow. Maybe we even have a key. Who knows if they're locked? I don't think they are. No, uh, they're not. Uh, yeah, but, I'll okay. just the lift first them up one, then. the first one has a spell scroll. Spell. Three bars. You recognize this. This is very important for you. Three bars of adamantine. Ooh. Uh, the second um, coffer contains a hundred uh, copper pieces, little bags of money. Hundred copper pieces, hundred silver pieces, ten electron pieces, twenty GP. And 10 PP. Uh, oh, and a small pouch of gems. Uh, each gem was about 50 gold each. Very nice. Probably going to need just like this transcribed for like yeah. after the game, honestly, so we can get it down onto something else. Like I said, the, the ceremonial garment had a lot of uh, at uh, 10 garnets, each 50, 50 gold piece. Uh, 10 top has Top, top, topuses, uh, 50 each, 10 black opals, 100 each, and 10 amethysts, also 100 each. Wow, there's That's a lot good. of money here. Now I think uh... this is more money than I've seen most of the rest of the game. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Let's take it while you can. And the uh, there's two coffers here, one near the bed, and the other. Are you just going to just throw them open? Okay. Uh, in the one of those, make a saving throw for me, please. Okay. I I knew there was a trap somewhere. Hey, if it's if it's drow poison, you know I'm fine. What kind of saving throw? Constitution. Uh, it's a dexterity save. Okay, this is to avoid it. I assume. Yeah. Yeah. That was never gonna happen. 
Yeah. <laughs> the whole six. You Jesus open it like... Fuck. I mean... Uh, uh, you know, you see... Uh, uh, kicks get thrown across the room because a, a, a bolt of lightning just slam him into his body. Ugh. And he's smoking. And the, and the, and the, and the uh, coffer is open, but it's... It's, uh, yeah. Took 21 points of electric do political damage. Yeah, let me look where my character is. There we go. Found him. Boop. 21. That one has, has uh, several scrolls. Uh, and these are pretty powerful. Um, oh, all yours, Axios. All right. Uh, Not necessarily. And the other one also has Probably. potions. Uh, uh, the scrolls uh, has, a, has a gate, a divine word, and a greater restoration. Um, oh, shit. So yeah. So you have Sorry, a way of getting uh, out if you need to. It was, it was, uh, you said a gate, divine word, greater and restoration. And greater restoration, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, how does uh, gate work? Gate can be pretty tricky. Let me check you what a gate. Yeah, um, I'm go look at the, the spell list. The narrowest one sentence description is pick any being in the multiverse and ask them over. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> oh, cool. let's see. Welcome to ninth level. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be hard to cast. Very. Um, because if you if you screw it up, you know. I was uh, that's the portal spell gate. Then okay, yeah, gate. Yeah. Uh, when you're a portal link into an occupied space, you see within the portal. Gonna, the portal has a front baggage plane. Appears travels through the portal is possible only by moving through the front. Anything that does not instantly transport it to the other plane appears in the uh, uh, occupied space near the portal. Deities and other planet rules can prevent portals created by spell. When you cast a spell, you can speak the name of a specific creature, a certain title or nickname that doesn't doesn't work. If that creature is on a plane other than one of your or your own, so you need you need the gate spell and you need the name of a creature. Hey, hell is a place, right? Yeah, it is a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to pick a particular thing that you know in hell. Gar. <laughs> I would laugh so hard, but Gar is in <laughs> hell. Just get him back. What what form would Gar be taking here? What is he at that point? He's like a lone spirit now. Like I said, so divine and uh -oh. other major creatures prevent gate opening from there. So you know uh -oh. the thing is like, oh, I'm gonna open a, a gate to the throne room of Orcus. Wow, Gar's really Orcus stepping goes, up, right? If you can't, <laughs> not, even, go like... not even the base level of hell. I'm on the throne room level now. <laughs> but yeah, I imagine like deities every day have to be like, no, I'm not getting invited to your party. I'm closing the gate. Get out of here. Yeah. Can we... Get the so major get... domo administrator of Sorokis. We have another gate request. <laughs> <laughs> just, just unfriend okay. and block them already. Jeez. So, so, so the opposite end is also true. We can't use that gate to get Braith, can we? Also uh, hilarious. Wait, 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 um, wait. I, I'm looking at I'm looking at lessons. I want right to um, I want to <laughs> also say that <laughs> hold I hold on, hold on, hold I on. I don't think that they're spirits because they when you go to another yeah, no, plane, that. you become physical for that plane. So yeah, why wouldn't you be physically able to transport through the portal? I, I think the real thing is that no, we don't the, really we, know we, what the advanced metaphysics of this reality really are, so well, I mean, it we, could be anything. No, we know no, what Planescape no, no. used to be. We just don't know what Planescape is 5e now. No, the yeah. way it's defined is that if you are a someone who's died, you become basically like a supplicant. So you are kind of like a spirit in that plane. Um, so, you, you know... You're a trench you now. Yeah. You, that's why you have dredges <laughs> and like that. It's like... If you go to the to the hell uh the house, you become like a minor demon or like what's one of those worms, like those spirit worms. A, a petitioner. But, but a petitioner. Gar, the petitioner yeah. So you're I a petitioner. If you travel if you travel physically to the plane, so you don't change that. And if you bring someone back from the dead, then they require a physical body because the magic gives them a body to go with it. You guys should have let me animate Braith's body. He'd have somewhere to come back to. And he'd be so, with you. Gosh. Uh, none of us can cast Divine Word. Only oh, Sepha can cast Gate. Oh, dear. Uh, wait, Paladin's Divine. Uh, they can cast Scrolls of Divine Nature, right? I believe... Divine Word is a Cleric spell only. 
Yeah. Uh, never mind. Uh, that uh, works uh, greater uh, restoration yeah. I can yeah, you, cast. In order to cast a, a scroll, you have to be able to cast it. Yeah, you know, it has yeah. to be on your spell. Your you don't have to that be particular that level. Outsider. Yeah. You don't have to be at that particular level, but it has to be it, in a It has to be on your spell list. Yeah. I mean, they probably might be a paladin build somewhere that has that spell, but yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Who knows? the Divine Soul Sorcerer. It is a hilarious concept, but I'm not too worried about it. Like, Greater Restoration, we can do that. Divine Soul Sorcerer, you mean sure. like Crane was? Yep. Yeah. And he's still back at uh, yep. the, the fort, so yeah, he didn't want, He didn't want to kill people. He's, he's holding the place down. I appreciate him. I think he probably would have a breakdown of the people you so, killed. Yeah. So we have three chests. Yeah. One of them wasn't trapped. One of them was... So, what's the questions. what are the Monty Hall chances that there's a goat behind this one too? So I mean, a trap. no, Ch check the for one... traps. Yeah, check what for traps real quick. Potions? Well, the third one contains the spirit of a supreme sorcerer who wants you to get revenge on the people who <laughs> killed him. <laughs> it's it's Gar's spare turtle shell. Yeah, uh, the one yeah, that's throw it to a, kill the a... person in the first place. It's a blue shell. Um, blue divine shell. It has potions, basically. This is all potions. It's a potion of poison. Potion of mind control. Oh, shit. Actually, who is identifying these potions, anyway? It's very important. I imagine probably Axios and Sevda as the people yeah. who have this sort of expertise. Okay. We do have the Arcana here. That would make the most okay. sense. Uh, well, please, well, yeah. Uh, actually, mind control fire giant. Uh, okay. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, perfect. Potion yeah, that's... of growth. Potion of heroism and two filters of love. I'll just oh, take boy. that one for later. I I, I go to Delicas. I said, "Did you okay. know about this?" Holy fuck! This is... He looks at you like, "If I knew, do you think I would have stayed here?" <laughs> He's got a point, you know. I mean, I could literally use one of those filters of love to make the 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 cleric fall in love with me, and convince her to go with me, and then leave, and then I, I won't talk about it anything I do. But I, I would get out of here, take all the money, and be free done with this. Mm. Uh, and the fire giant compelled like a mind control fire giant potion. That's very, very. Uh, potion Michael, when you drink a potion Michael, you can cast a dominate spell, say DC of 15 on a, specific, on a specific creature, one creature. If you do so before the end of the next turn, if you don't, the potion is wasted. So it's it's one shot. You take it, you try it. If it works, boom. If not, no, that's on. Hold on to that one. We may be, we may be able to use that to our advantage in uh... more ways than one. There's a lot of good options here now. Yeah. That oh, one is real very quick. Real quick, and I ask Adelikos, what about these? And I show him the potions with the yellow goo. What are they? Uh, Growth. He looked at you like, uh, that's poison. Hmm. That's my pus collection. Just making sure. Uh, I keep one vial. And I will give the other vial to Kix if you need it. You have a Basically, that adds, that adds a 3d6 contact poison, 3d6 poison damage. But... In the way this used, it's just one hit. So on the first hit, once you hit, it's three d six. All right. No set. Poison though is a coward's weapon. No hero would possibly use this on their weapon as I pour it out on it. It would be a terrible, dreadful thing to have uh, anyone know about. So leave that out of the story, Axios. Heard. Also, I think you should carry these potions of uh, growth, so that you can just become a, just a one large. Or, oh, yeah, absolutely. I you think there's a giant throwdown to happen at some point. So you have a potion of growth. If we play our cards right, we're going to get a giant ally, then all of us can get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. It doesn't last long, though. Yeah, it does only last for, I think, a minute is dominate. No, I don't mean I don't mean the dominate. I'm talking about the imprisoned one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that probably. All right. Imprisonment. Well, Delacos, it's you and me, I and um, I look at... Uh, Bell, thumbs up. I look at Belllock. Uh, you're sneaky, right? You want to come too? Sorry, did you get X-ray vision at some point, and I don't know about it. We're outside. We're in front of you. 
No, you're all actually in the room. Hold on. Yeah, he just okay. walked out. I was about to say, I'm sorry, when I don't have the, the map currently active, you all are just frozen in time for me. Yep, I did pa I did cast Pass Without Trace, so everyone gets a plus 10 on their uh, stealth. Yeah, this guy has... what? He rolled a 20-something, so he has a... 26. 35. So yeah, 36. And I, yeah, and I yeah, have... 36. I have 32. Yeah, you're practically invisible unless you literally run into somebody. Like, you know, there's no space for you to cross. And it's like, or, you know, okay. somebody actively tries to betray you. Well, yeah, I, I've thought about that too. That's why I'm trusting him, and if he fails, I will strangle him to death. Cool, trust the guy who was part of the race that killed your family. Says the guy that is part of the race that killed my family. Well, I don't even know that happens. <laughs> this is an out-of-character comment. I know. Uh, movie. In fact, I'm the here. one who killed your wife. Rawr! Oh, no. It was his sister. Uh, what a twist out of nowhere. As you come in, you see these two trolls guarding the door that you came through. Well, how did I get dragged out there? Well, are you not coming? Okay, never mind. Well, now if everyone else is staying in there, I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. Guarding the room. Like, you come out like, he's like, uh. We go sneak this way slightly. Yeah, you see two trolls here. It's like, fuck. Is the dead okay. body, is the dead body still there? Yeah, they haven't moved the dead bodies yet. Um, I'm gonna go through the dead body real quick and just pick up some stuff if she has anything. Mm, all her treasure was over. taken. All right, never mind. Yeah, he's like, uh, okay, okay. it has to be another way. Oh, here. Um, he moves you back. It's like nobody ever way. weekend at Bernie's anymore. Oh, we yeah, we're going through the uh, other door, right? Yeah. All right, so uh, is this door open? Is it locked? What is it? He's like. Oh, he's uh, picking? He's having a stroke. Yeah, he's ah. he's, he's speaking it. Like, ah, ta-da. Put this right here. So you... All right. I will peek my head out first. Oh, okay, because do you want the heroism potion? Uh, I'll probably wait until, like, after the session. Uh, I motion him to come, because nobody's here. Hot. That's you. Come yep. Here. Come here. Let me point you at the door. Uh, and this he said there's a little... Yeah, there's a little... Well, kind of high. It's like, yeah, come here. Because you're going to have to... Well, you can actually jump, so... He offers you to put him like you can jump because the, the the window thing it's opens on the outside and it's pretty tall. It's for giants to look into, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I I am now I guess on the window sill. I look. Is what he's been saying is the truth, and there is a giant in here. Holy shit! There is. Oh my god! He wasn't lying. Insane. Uh, I'm assuming the uh, door is locked and huge. Is that correct? Yeah. I am going to. Uh, can I can I squeeze through the window at all? No. I mean, it's a vision block. So I mean, you can put an arm or something like that. It's big enough for you to put an arm across, but not enough for. Um... But you know, it, it's one of those doors that has a pass through, right? So it's designed not to be open. From the inside, but from the outside, it's easy to open. Very well. I will uh, give Delacoste a hand then to get him closer to the lock, and he can start picking it. And so I will like run down, grab him, and help him up with my robot hand and all that shit. So yeah, let me see what this this individual's name is. You found very interesting person. Justin Howell the third. Uh, what kind of giant is he? Do I recognize that when I see him or no? No. Well, he's he not a fire like giant. Any... He's certainly not a fire giant, but aside from that, you have no idea who he is. Um, hmm. That's very weird, then. Because I oh, personally know all giants. Could be a stone giant. 
Ooh, could a storm be a giant. hill giant. Could be a cloud giant. I mean, he's huge. Um, and he, uh, he's like, uh, he says something in giants. Uh, but it sounds slightly different from how the fire giants speak it. Yeah. Or maybe speaking in, in another, uh, you know, um, How tall is he, by the way? Uh, he's huge. No, I mean, like, is he like twenty feet tall, thirty feet tall, like about yeah, about uh, twenty feet tall. Twenty feet tall. Okay. Yeah. Give or take. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna look for this. It's page open, and I close it for some reason. Hopefully, I can open it again. I hate when you have so many windows and then. But roll 20 size. Nope, you can't have that open anymore. Yup. It's always fun. No. So he doesn't, um... Like, I, I, I... You said he speaks giant. I actually say to him in common, if you understand me, we're going to get you out of here. Oh, a mortal... Excuse me, you said mortal? Yes, I said mortal. Who are you? I'm about to tell you. <laughs> That's a great response. Next time, cliffhanger. Yep. Well, actually, it's like 9.55, so this would be a great cliffhanger. <laughs> it would be a hilarious moment to do it. Yeah. Uh, My name is Title the... Drop, Invincible. My name Greek is Next giant. Time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah, it's let's leave so it at that. He's about to tell you what it is, <laughs> and we leave it there. Uh, yes! <laughs> he's a Greek giant made of marble. No, he 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 said mortal. Now he, he's not a giant. He's fucking ce probably celestial or planes or planar. Right, no or celestial. he just thinks he's really cool. No celestial has ever died, right? I'm right, guys. Yeah, oh, no, no Actually, I think. It might be a Titan? I don't know. My my game knowledge is weird and funky sometimes. A lot of stuff doesn't show up enough. Mm -hmm. But if so, I mean, that'll be awesome. Could be anything. Yeah, you're, gonna get, you're gonna need the help. Could even be a boat. <laughs> you're gonna need the help. <laughs> yeah, it could even be a boat. We got the help of a half-dead Alexander. Yeah. We got the help of this guy, and maybe a drow? I don't know. The boat giant. Yeah. So I think all I'll leave off the session with is uh, lessons. You remember all that treasure just posted in chat at some point so we can start dishing it out and thinking about it? Yeah, That'll be yeah, great. Awesome. Love you for us. Oh, That's a lot of money. If only anyway, we could uh, spend it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's start in reverse. Uh, our drow uh, crossbow uh, expert. How do you, uh, you know, send this out? Shout outs. Yeah, I'm going to give a shout out to Jason Momoa, and uh, that's it. You know, fuck everyone else. Just Jason Momoa. <laughs> uh, next, up we, next up we have uh, Kix. Hey, yeah, I played Kix the Shield, the cool and calculating fighter. He took down two giants with some help this time. Yeah. Uh, shout out to, like, Geese in the Park. Yeah, he's my favorite Street Fighter guy. <laughs> yep. Uh, next up, we have Axios. Yeah, Axios. Uh, somehow, we're not dead. The Tiefling Bard. Mm -hmm. uh, fun fact, ducks are free and the government doesn't want you to know. Okay. How many do you have now? Seven. Hashtag there free Howard. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> finally, finally, we have Wraith. Taking three ducks home this week. Yes, we have Wraith, who almost died, but I'm playing Lail, who is, um... Shout out to Metallica? I don't fucking know. Um... Shout out to Matthew Stafford for example. Yo, I mean, I'll double that right there. Shout out to Metallica, just cause. Yeah, but they're yeah. posers nowadays. I'd rather, like, we do Iron Maiden. Ah, uh, hmm. You well, probably once, got a point. Once you get a, your own record label, label, you're you're just... That's the, that's the sign of being a sold out right there. Yeah, they sold out. Like well, the I beach. mean, the moment Loris went on uh, against Napster, it was really all downhill from there. They I can't they remember. Have, do they, I can't remember. they have apologized for that since then. Oh, yeah. 
Napster is still very much gone, but, you know. E even so, I can't remember, like, who said it, but I, I remember the line distinctly, like, what machine do you think we're raging against here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna change. Um, yeah. systematic oppression of drow. Hey, yeah, that sounds good. What about you, Lessons? Sign us oh, off. Being happy you're uh, your DM for the evening. Uh, there was a lot of blood, a lot of sacrifice, dead bodies that were brought back to life. Because remember that we have actually raised dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, miss. That's, Ooh, that's a magical thing. secret to keep us thing. in defense. Jeez. Yeah. Two spells uh, from any classes. Oh, mm. yeah. yeah. You picked wisely then. Yeah, I went, man, we have. We have no way of reviving people. This would be a great pick. It was very good pick. <laughs> All I know is I'm some. really curious who our uh, giant titan, possibly planes friend here is right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're going to see who he is next week when we uh, go and probably go on the offensive to kill more giants and trolls and everything in between. But for now, uh, we'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye, everybody. See you, everybody.